Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. I don't know why I have my headphones on. I don't know what your name is, but that's okay. I just took a shower. My hair's still kind of wet. I went for a run today, and that's great. We should all be happy about that. Did you go for a run today? It's okay. You don't have to. That's all right. I tend to go running before these things. I'm really tired today, but that's okay. It was a fun day at work. I enjoyed myself. I also realized I didn't update. I was not intending on making a cocktail this evening, but you know what? Once a week feels like a good thing. My camera's all whacked up. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to fix it if I can. Better angles, better angles, better angles. Eh, we have a table now. It's great, it's great. So uh, I wasn't expecting to, but in the last five minutes I found one and found that I had all the recipe details for it and I found it in this book. It's called Girls Night. It's got more than 1,000 drinks for Girls Nights, and most of them are just derivations of each other. This is my least favorite book in my collection, but it's pink, and it's beautiful! And I enjoy pink and beautiful things, as well as things that are not necessarily pink, but are also beautiful in ways beyond our comprehension. But really, that's irrelevant. How are you doing this evening? I'm very tired. And for that reason, it'll be a short one tonight. I gotta try to work on my sleep schedule. I have been going to sleep probably anywhere between like 11 o'clock at night to 12.30 in the morning and waking up anywhere between 5.45 in the morning and like 6.45. I tend to, this morning I snoozed my alarm like, was it four or five times? I snoozed, I woke up at 5.45 and then snoozed it till six o'clock and then 6.15 and then 6.30 and then 6.45. I didn't snooze the 6.30 twice. That's not how time works. We can't go back like that. That'd be silly. Anyway, we're all living our best lives over here and adjusting in any way that we possibly can. Tonight's libation of choice is called Oh Big Daddy from Tutu Tango. Um, apparently the O in Oh Big Daddy uh, is using a cocktail spirit known as Bacardi O. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna guess O is for orange. Perhaps O is for orangutan. Perhaps O is for orthopedics. I'm not sure why your orthopedic would be drinking Bacardi at this hour. Doesn't matter. I am. So, that's what we're going with. I don't have Bacardi O, I just got regular Bacardi. It calls for Bacardi O, Bacardi Raz. I don't have Bacardi Raz specifically, so I have this Raz. It's the Quiper. That's all I got. That's what I'm going with. And then pineapple juice and cranberry juice, which as we all know, I'm not going to use all the pineapple juice. I never seem to do so. And I thought I'd plan out a container to store the excess in today, but uh, I think I'm just going to stick it in the fridge with some saran wrap on it. Not even saran wrap. I have a Ziploc bag. I'm going to put it on top of the pineapple container after I'm finished so as to not waste the beauty that is pineapple juice from a can, which is always a dole, baby. And then we got some cranberry juice from the store. I think it's been in the fridge for a little while, but if we shake it up a little bit, it's like it was fresh. Sort of, kinda. Anyway, we'll, we'll kinda see. I don't really know. Anyway, it's called O Big Daddy, and I think the Bacardi O comes with the O. I, I, I've never watched Tutu Tango before. I have never heard of that. So I guess being that there is no Bacardi O in this particular combination that we have here, I'm just gonna call it Big Daddy. So, um, please. Enjoy Big Daddy as much as I will. Um, I need my cocktail shaker. Um, <laughs> where's my... I had a bookmark. <laughs> it's a, it's a... It was a playing card. Oh, my cocktail shaker is behind the camera. Excuse me for a moment. Hi, everybody. It's got ice in it. Uh, I also have a glass over here, too, that I need to reach for. Ah! Got that. Got that. I'm not a... I wasn't as prepared as I was last time. Although, I wasn't completely prepared last time. However, I'm significantly more prepared this time than I was previously. So, alas. Whatever. Anywho's. Anywho's. In my cocktail shaker, I need to add... I think they have some pretty... Um, I think they have half measures here, so I'm gonna double things up. I'm gonna take a full ounce of Bacardi O, substituting just regular Bacardi. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know what the O stands for. Maybe O stands for, oh my, it's just rum, or oh my, it's just Bacardi, as usual. In which case, I've got the oh my, it's just Bacardi. And I'm gonna put an ounce of that into my cocktail shaker. Ooh, it kind of splashed a little bit. That's okay. I'm known to make messes, just like the rest of humanity. Remember that one time that whole country made that giant mess? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. 
Um, I don't know. Insert reference to, like, some sort of financial crisis here. That happened in 2008 in America, right? I don't know. I was too young for it. How old was I in 2008? Let's see. Let's do some math. 2021. I will turn 24. Happy almost birthday to me. Woot. Uh, bring it back. By, like, 13 years? 13? I was 11. Or 10, depending on the timing of that year. I was a young boy at the time. I was a young boy once upon a time. I also need a full ounce of Bacardi Raz. There is no Bacardi Raz. It's just Raz Raz. And specifically, it's Pucker Raspberry. I honestly thought this said Razzmatazz, but apparently that's just a song by I don't know how, but they found me. And not a particular spirit in my collection. That's a really good song, by the way. I, for one, really enjoy... I don't know how, but they found me. I think they're a, a wonderful alternative type band. The song Razzmatazz is nice. And every time I think, every time I hear that song, I think of the one meme where it's like, it's the bird, it's the seagull. It's the seagull that somebody like drew over animation style. And the seagull now has like a top hat on and like a cane. But it's like, its legs are like really, really tall and stretchy. So like, as it's making its way along the beach, it's got like, it's got like the, hello there fellow ladies or something like that. Or like, like, like show them the old like uh, razzmatazz type thing or give them the old razzle. That was it. Give them the old razzle dazzle. But it's with a seagull on the beach and uh, with, with crudely drawn um, cane and top hat over it. And it's, it, it's, it's a lot more vivid in my mind than I'm sure it is right now. Um, but anyway, I also need to add, in addition to the Razzle Dazzle and the not so big O Bacardi, uh, half an ounce of pineapple juice and half an ounce of cranberry juice. Don't forget to shake your pineapple juice, which at this point now, I had forgotten half of the time because I'm pretty sure I've only used it four times and I've forgotten twice. But the last two times, I did not. When I crack that sucker open, maybe next time I won't actually have to crack open a new one. I will actually just remember and that'll be wonderful, wonderful. And I need a half an ounce of that in my, in my whatchamajigger. Yeah, whatchamajigger. That's funny. It is called a jigger, but I can just call it a whatchamajigger. Maybe that's where the name came from. Maybe like the bartenders were just like, I don't know what the heck to call this thing. It's a measuring device. What do we call it? And then we're just like, uh, it's a whatchamajigger. And they're like, how about jigger for short? And uh, maybe, maybe, who knows? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try to preserve the pineapple juice as much as I can by, um, Putting it in a Ziploc bag. I don't remember what came in the Ziploc bag. It's probably okay. I'm not worried. <laughs> Unless you're worried. The other day, at work, actually, we were, um, there was some, uh, they catered, like, Vietnamese food. They brought some in and shared it with the other people in the office building. And they had, like, these, um, I, I think it's, like, rice wrap when you have, like, the burrito wraps, but it's transparent, because I think it uses, like, a rice flour type thing, and it, it, it's see-through. It was really cool. You could see the rice noodles on the inside and the little bits of vegetables and whatever else was in there. There was definitely chicken in there, but it was... Maybe it wasn't chicken. I, I'm honestly not so sure. Anyway, anyway, but so, um, it was in there for about a week. Um, let's see. And, um, yeah, long story short, I ate the, I ate the old, the old transparent burrito from the fridge, and uh, everyone was worried for me. I wasn't worried for me. I wasn't worried if you weren't worried. I ate it. It was okay. Parts of it was a little more gooey than I had originally thought it would be. Um, I just kind of didn't eat those parts. But, uh, you know, what is life without a little bit of exploration? Anyway, I need to add a half an ounce of cranberry juice in addition to the old Razzle Dazzle I've got right now. And um, like I said, I haven't opened this for quite a while. It's been in my fridge for quite a while. It smells like cranberry juice so um, I'm just I'm just gonna go for it very carefully I'm not very good at pouring from these big old bottles but oh actually that was delightful anyway half an ounce of that I'm gonna enjoy my cocktail shaker daddy's gonna like it big, big oh big daddy oh whatever I don't know I don't know girls night who wrote girls night Jacqueline Wilson Folly. Well, thank you, Jacqueline Wilson Folly, for enlightening all of us to the glory of O oh, Big Daddy, or just Big Daddy, in case you don't got the Bacardi O. Top that sucker off and give it a shake. I like it. I always like the sound of a nice shake. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying to remove it like that. I'm gonna untap. Untap? Untap? Untap, upkeep, draw. Magic the Gathering. Just kidding. 
And I'll put that in my little cocktail shaker over here. So, 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 so. We're just gonna pour that inside. I wonder if ch doubling the proportions allows it to actually fill up this glass here. That's a pretty color. Nice and red. Oh, oh, actually, that's gonna work. I think that's perfect. I like it. That's perfect. And that's all the that's all the liquid in the container. Down with that. Sweet. I love it when a plan comes together. Throw those little bits all on the floor. Yep, that's different. Definitely did not spill over. And then we are going to garnish this. The book says to garnish this with what they call a grenadine sink. Sink grenadine garnish. I have no idea what that means. I'm not sure if they mean like a kitchen sink, in which case I'm going to take a sink full of grenadine and just douse, just submerge this for a moment, which sounds a little ridiculous. So I think what they mean is actually like sink some grenadine to the bottom. So I can't really see the bottom right now. There we go. Now you can see the bottom of the glass. I'm just going to take some of my, uh, some grenadine that I made. Like, when did I make this? Eh, it's irrelevant. And uh, I'm just going to pour a little over the top and grenadine is really, really heavy. So it's just gonna kind of sink to the bottom. So uh, yeah, put a little bit of grenadine in there or a lot of bit of grenadine and it just kind of looks darker at the bottom. Thank you very much. Actually, when I was having dinner earlier, I, it was kind of cool. I went for a run and then on the way back from the run after I'd found myself a, quite a few blocks away from my home, I found, uh, I stopped in one of the food trucks, grabbed the dinner and brought it on home. And then I mixed myself a little cocktail, a little bit of tequila, Sprite, and grenadine. That kind of flew to the bottom like that. It's actually kind of, it's not too bad. It's like darker at the bottom and then it's at the top. It's a nice gradient of red going on there. And uh, that's, that's what I'm calling a grenadine sink, if anybody knows what a proper grenadine sink is. And I don't mean kitchen sink, unless we do mean kitchen sink. If that's what was intended, I am confused. And I don't know how to implement that. And then we also need an orange twist on there. And honestly, that's, that's pretty... I, I, got, I got oranges in my fridge. I've been eating oranges a lot uh, for, um, uh, for lunch. Just kind of take them in. It's nice. I think I actually took in one of my uh, skinned, peeled oranges to work the other day. Because I was like, oh, what kind of orange do I have? And I noticed one was missing a good chunk of its skin. I'm going to try to do a long one on this. Yeah, isn't that impressive? I don't know why I'm doing it off camera. I'm, I'm not... Still getting used to the whole showness aspect to it. Nice. Oh, and it smells like oranges. Or or just orange. It's, it's not more than one orange. It's just... It's just oranges. It's a pretty hefty peel. And uh, I'm going to twist it. It says do a twist. So let's twist again. Like we did last summer. Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Oh my god, I just had an idea. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go get a straw. This is gonna be cool. Hold on, hold on. I just had a great idea. Come on, let's twist again. Twist again, twist again. Twist again. Twist and time is here. I'm gonna twist it around the straw. I've never thought of that before. It's probably not gonna look that good, but you know what? It's all about the excitement. So I'm gonna twist that up, and then I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't know. I'm gonna thread. I'm gonna thread the needle a little bit. Does that work? Did that? Did that do anything? I don't, if I just kind of wrap it around the straw, I have no idea. Anyway, and now I'm gonna put that into my drink. It's gonna taste all like grenadine because the bottom of the straw is inside of the grenadine puddle at the bottom. That's all I got. It's it's cute, it's kind of springy. I like that. I'd say that's, mm, on a scale from one to 10, I'd give it uh, a six on presentation. But that's because I'm always super hypercritical of myself. So I think making up for that, I would give it like a seven. Anyway, this is Oh Big Daddy without the O. So it's just Big Daddy, according to Jacqueline Wilson Folly. That was a full ounce of Bacardi, or Bacardi O according to the recipe. A full ounce of uh, raspberry liqueur, or Bacardi Raz, if you happen to have it. A half an ounce of pineapple juice, and a half an ounce of cranberry juice with a grenadine sink. This is grenadine at the bottom. It's sunk to the bottom. And, um, and an orange twist. Let's see how that is. Actually, let's see how that is after I take this table out of my way. I have more space to move around. And this milk crate. <laughs> it was on top of a milk crate. No water cooler this time. Just, just peace, love, and milk crates. So, uh, woo! And apparently, other things falling up behind me. It's a mess over here. But you know what else I got? A Lego box. My fiance does these gifts on the internet now, and she, she got like a bunch of a bunch of Legos in a box. Isn't that a satisfying sound? Doesn't it remind you of childhood? 
I wish I had a childhood to remember. Just kidding, I had a childhood to remember. I just, my memory's not super duper good, so it's not like it's bringing up very vivid memories. But anyway, it might for some. I'm gonna give this a stir, because the grenadine's gonna make things all wacky. And my twist just came undone. Yeah, that's still not too bad. Anyway. Alright, that's like... I kind of like the combination. I, I, I'll say, the... I take it back. Just kidding. I was about to say, it's very strongly pineapple and very strongly, like, grenadine raspberry. But, like, I can... I, I can taste it all in there, honestly. It's, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's very... I feel like the raspberry liqueur is very, very sweet and a little sour. And the grenadine is also very, very sweet, not very sour. It kind of all, it kind of all commingles together. It just tastes really, really sweet. But definitely, um, like, pineapple forward, and I'm really tagging between the grenadine, like, pomegranate-ness, and the raspberry, raspberry-ness. I want to say it's more, I want to say it's more grenadine-y than, uh, than raspberry, but that might just be because of the amount of grenadine I put in there, which is appropriate. Actually, if I, if I lift this up a bit, may blow a little bubbles in it and taste it from the middle. Yeah, not as much grenadine either. Actually, in the middle, now I can taste more of the, um, the Bacardi in there. So, depending on how much you stir it, kind of like your Starbucks Frappuccino that you got, because you, you hate your wallet, but you love yourself. It's, uh, it's kind of like that. It, it, depending on how you stir it, depending on how much you stir it, or depending on how much the barista stirred it, it could be a completely different experience for you. Honestly. Alright, let's take the camera and put it back into its rightful spots. Can we actually see the yoga blocks this time? Yeah, uh, yoga blocks. Put them that way. There we go. Bye-bye, yoga blocks. Back to the game. Thank you all for joining me on Cocktail Time. Big Daddy. Anyway, we shall continue. It's a graveyard keeper. We know the deal. It's spooky time. I was seriously considering playing something else this evening, but really couldn't decide. I was very indifferent. I was morbidly indifferent. But uh, what kind of what kind of got me a little um, what got me encouraged to play again was the fact that apparently, or I, I just unlocked all the technology for like like alk making in this game, like wine and stuff like that. Oh my god, it's almost the end of Sunday. Oh my god, I just noticed it's almost the end of Sunday. It's Lord's Day. Uh, I don't have enough time to go grab my thing. Okay, I got really excited for a moment. Um, I don't think I have enough time to do the sermon. I got like, what, five seconds? No, I would not have been able to make it. Oh my goodness. Oh well, that's okay. We'll have to wait next Lord's Day because it is now downward facing sigil day. I should really look up what these sigils mean. I could, I could benefit from a little education every once in a while. I could definitely benefit from a little education. Um, where was I at with this? I want to make alcohol. Yeah, duh. It's a, it's a thing that I'm into. Mixology and stuff like that. So what's the first thing that we need? We need grapes. I need grapes. To get grapes, I could also ferment apples. I could ferment apples and get a pail of apple juice, berry juice, grape juice. Grape juice allows me to make wine. Um, the distillery lets me make booze, and booze can come from anything. Apple ferment, berry ferment, red wine, more red wine, more some more red wine. Um, how do we get berry ferment then? I guess I just put it in a barrel, right? Red wine is two barrel bottle. Buckets, 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 buckets of grape juice. How do I make ferment? How do I do that? I can make beer if I had hops, but I don't have hops. I got wheat though. I got water too. That's upstairs. Um, how does make, how does make ferment? How does make pale ferment? So if I had more apples, if I had more berries, I can make that. And then how to do the ferment? How does do ferment? No? Can I really only ferment wine in here? Maybe, maybe that's something I had to research. Uh, that's a lover along the, ah, uh, somewhere over here. Uh, maybe there was something in between that I just don't have. The technology is hidden. You'll have to reveal it somehow. I guess I just gotta make wine first. Or, or berry. Berry, uh, berry juice. Fertilizers. I don't know how to get these hidden technologies. I guess I should just keep doing missions and stuff and that'll, that'll kind of pave the way for more of this stuff. But, um. Hops and grapes. Hops and grapes. Uh, I can make vine trellises now, so I might as well prepare that. Uh, put that on wherever. It's a foggy day today. 
but there's no need to be scared. There are only demons outside tonight. Oh, look at this. I've got more stuff in the farm grown. That's wonderful. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to collect more um, seeds. More seeds, because the more seeds that I have, the more plants I can plant. And the more plants that I can plant, the better better a garden I'll have. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just do the work. Let's go to work. Oh, to the left. Take it back now, y'all. One dig this time. Another dig. Let's go. Another dig. Let's go. Freeze. Because it's winter. I always wanted to sing the Casper Slide Part 2 as like as a part of an, of an audition. But like the time for memeing full auditions is back was back in high school. Or perhaps I had to get really, really close with the folks that perform at a particular community theater. In which case, that type of shit will be welcome. Or always unwelcome, but I just won't get the idea. Alright, I got all this stuff over here. Put some of this stuff in here, like the hemp. The hemp. The crop waste. I take the wheat with me. Um, take, put the maggots in there. I can only have a stack of 30 maggots at a time. That's unfortunate. Why do I have flyers in there? I made flyers for some reason. Probably something to do with last week. Put the cabbage seed in there. Nah, nah, seed, seed. Eh, lovely. Got plenty of carrots now. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now I think I can make I can make vine trellises now. But first, let's put all the stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. Crop waste. Gotta make all that compost. This shit is the best. And I need the wine trellis. So how do that? How to build wine trellis? Garden bed with sticks, compost heats. Oh? Oh, okay. Um Well, not sure why I can't create vine trellises. Maybe. Oh, you know, do I have to... I may only be able to do uh, the wine trellises in a particular area, like up on Witch Hill. Um, I think you could do wine up there. Hmm. Now, I also know there's a body in the morgue. I was aware of that. I heard the ding -ling song, and I forgot about it. So, let's see. Buddy? Buddy? Autopsy? Let's see. I want some fat from you. So, we'll, uh, let's, let's see if extracting fat does anything good. Maybe it'll make you better. Did it make you better? It was made you completely indifferent. Um, how about meat? I like flesh. Yes. Flesh good. Yes. Um, good. Did it make you better? Nope. Um, alright. I don't like you. So... I have not studied the intestines yet. I have studied... I need to study the heart, the skin, and that stuff. But I can always get more. I'll just leave you on the table for now and come back for you later. Jerry, my friend, how are you? Do I have any more tasks for you? Leave. Okay. See you later. Fine. Unfortunate. Prepare some more carrots for my friend, the donkey mule. Donkey person. Donkey thing. What did I come down here for? Oh, I wanted to see, I think, at the church, I can actually d uh, buy rights to more land. If I'm a rightful citizen. Exhumation provision. Uh, royal stamp. The royal stamps cost so much money. Building permission. That's a lot of money. Rightful citizen? Rightful citizen. Buy for three silver. It's all about money in this world, guys. It's all about money. Like, money's what it's all about. How much money do I have? I have almost three silver. But I got more burial certificates. I can sell those. I got stories. I got stories. Come on, stories downstairs. Clear up my inventory space a little bit. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, right, you know, I wonder, can I get money by going like down into the depths? Like in the in the in the dungeon or whatever? I don't know. I haven't I haven't been there in a little bit. I don't know what I can get down there, honestly. I don't know what kind of drops are available. You know? How would I know? Um, I think I was keeping some more body parts over here, maybe? Uh yes, I was keeping body parts over here. Ooh, I can deposit. Uh, I think I have I have enough fat to make some oil. And I think I put them in the press over here, right? Oil from fat. Mmm. Easy. Yeah. Oil. I don't know what to do with that yet. But, um, now it's a thing. Crafted at vine press or hand mixer. That's cool. Well, now, now I've got oil. 
I got oil to be used for anything. Whatever our oil needs are. Oh, you know, I bet oil is used for cooking. It's definitely used for cooking, right? It's got to be used for cooking. I see no recipes involving oil. So, uh, okay then. That's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's just put all this stuff in a, in a, uh, in a pile. Put that 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 in a pile. Yeah. I like piles. Got this, all this bread? Got this white flour? Don't know why that's here, but whatever. It's okay. It's gonna be okay, bud. It's gonna be okay, bud. It's gonna be just fine. Just be okay. I'll plant whatever. Put some peat down as best as I can. I'll fertilize everything. Whatever you need. Fertilizer? Got it. Fertilizer? Also got it. Fertilizer? You betcha. We've got it. Even if you didn't know that you needed it, you now have it. I was actually talking to somebody at work the other day about, like, composting and stuff like that. Apparently, and I think you have to pay for it, but you can get, like, this little bin that you can put on your stup. The stup being your, your, um, like, the, the, the stairs that lead up to your apartment. Um, they apparently call it the stup. I, uh, I had never been so familiar with the term. But now I know. But the, um, you can get a little thing that you can keep inside, keep it like inside of your foyer anyway you put all of your scraps in it you save your scraps in like a plastic bag and you put it inside of this little bin and they come by and they pick it up and then they in return they give you like um they give you i guess um you know do i know i don't know they give you compost in, in, in return so i thought that was pretty pretty cool and i consider that although I, i'll be honest i don't think i produce enough waste in my apartment for that to be um well worthwhile just don't think i got just don't don't think i got it all don't have enough i need to put all the seeds in my inventory uh, because oh, onion seeds i don't yet have enough for dig it dig it down um i can't can i can i plant lentil seeds i don't know i've never tried i'll try to plant lentil seeds down here can i no lentil seeds cannot be no okay well how about onion seeds like, good onion seeds. But I need four of them. Alas. Put some of those down. Put some of those down. So on and so forth. But, like, I feel like I don't produce enough compostable material for it to make that worth my while. Um, although, what I what I was told is, in, like, on the if you don't have that, what you could do is just put your food waste like that. Just if you got a garbage disposal, and the garbage disposal. Because it winds up going into the water or to the filtration plants and so i don't the, the the filtration plants i think to be honest i don't know exactly how they work but i would suppose it's not too far off from they separate the solids from the liquids and then um you know do something with it so the solids i suppose are composted if they're compostable i don't know why anybody would put like for example tin foil into their um into their garbage disposal that just seems silly i actually was um uh, I was testing how, like, the the strength of the garbage disposal the other week. I had gotten some, uh, I'd gotten some, um, cantaloupes, some melons, and I cut, uh, you know, cut the thing open, scooped it all out, made a couple of dices of them. Beautiful. But so, I was like to myself, you know, I was just told about this whole composting thing at work. So, I wonder... Because melons are natural, right? Ma melons are, I guess, not always natural. But cantaloupes are natural. The rind is natural. Can I put the rind into my garbage disposal? Now, if y'all are unfamiliar with cantaloupe melons, they're pretty sturdy beasts. You gotta really put some effort into cracking these shells open. And the shells themselves are hefty. But I decided it might be a, at least a fun experiment to throw that hefty rind shell into the garbage disposal and see how it fares. Well, it kind of sounded similar to the time where somebody had accidentally dropped a shot glass into my garbage disposal. Needless to say, uh, that was the only time I ever did that. And uh, everyone survived to tell the tale. It was just me there, but I survived. I survived to pass on the message. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Not unless you got one of those like really really powerful garbage disposals and i don't think i have a really really powerful garbage disposal i think i've just got like a eh, disposal it works works but like could work better 
Probably. I don't know. I don't know. That's my thoughts on the matter. So I need to go around and find more berries. I need to find where to get grape seeds at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into town and take a look and see what there is to find. I believe the merch, excuse me, the merchant is here. So if the merchant is here, I'm going to check with the farmer. See if the farmer sells um, seeds of those types. Uh, you may not. Actually, you probably won't. I think I checked last time. But um, I don't know if maybe I need to be at a higher level in order to trade things with him. Um, I probably should have brought my crops with me because I could have sold that to, this, to the um, to the guy as well. Yo, buddy, you're working today, farmer's son. Congrats. What's up, Farmer Brown? We're just farmer. You actually seem quite farmer white to me. But then again, let's not judge each other based on appearances. What do you got? Can I actually buy? It looks like I can buy onion seeds from you, but I'm not that at that level yet. I want onions. I want onions for my better sandwiches. Much better sandwiches. Um, but I'll save my money for now. I will come back. But later. First, I'm going to harvest your berries. And I'm going to steal these mushrooms. And I'm going to take your apples. Cannot take your apples, apparently. Unfortunate. What's up, gopher? Can I do anything with you? No, stop that. No, I don't want to go to the... Stop! I want to talk to the gopher. Gopher? Hello? No. Okay, fine. What's this over here? I have no idea what this is sitting there. Wonderful. This is a cute little interstice that I was never meant to get to. But I did. And I think we're all we're all happier now. Yay. Anyway, time to make my way back into town. Oh, seriously? I can't... Oh. It was blocking my way... Mm, I can't go that way either. Gee whiz. But I can walk through these wheat fields. Weed fields, weed fields, weed fields. Hopefully I can make some progress on this fermentation business here. I just gotta find... I gotta find... Oh, look. This is where my secret passageway is. <laughs> I need to find where to buy hops and hop seeds. Um, and so on and so forth. What can I buy from you? What do you sell? Grape seeds. There we go. Damn. So I can buy... One grape seed for 55... Wow. That's unfortunate. I mean, I don't need good wine for now, but I want good wine. Oh, I'm in a tough spot. How much left is in the day? I can go back real quick and get some stuff to sell. I'll collect some of my belongings. I'll sell some of my iron parts. It's for the good of the kingdom. It's for the good of the wine industry. And for that, we can we can sell a couple of things. That's fine. That's okay. I'll grab some of my uh, foodstuffs upstairs. We got a body in town. Nice. I'll grab some of my food stuff up here. Um, actually, I don't know if that's going to be very helpful, but I don't know. I'll, uh, that probably wasn't sellable. I don't know. I'll grab this stuff. Um, grab my berries. Grab some kibosh. Grab some karats. Grab some bread. Um, go outside. Grab some metal bits. Metal bits? Metal bits. Oh... I don't know. Simple iron parts. I don't really have much of this. Uh, I'll buy glass. Uh, glass is good. Maybe they buy bees. I don't know. I'm running out of time. Uh, ceramic bowls! Everybody likes bowls. Maybe... Maybe people don't like bowls. I've been trying to find who buys bowls. And I cannot find who buys bowls. Who buys the bowls? And who provides them? I should at least buy four grape seeds. Then I'll be able to actually, you know, create this stuff. Hey, buddy. Don't go anywhere. Please. Please don't go anywhere. Okay. I cannot sell anything to you. That's unfortunate. But can I buy... Can I buy at least four? I can buy at least four. So, one moment. As I drop some stuff on the ground. I don't... Mm, I don't need these wooden sticks. Destroy. Destroy. Build. Destroy. And then buy four high-quality grape seeds. That's, that's all I got. Finish that offer. Nice. I'm gonna go talk to the... Um, I don't know if I can sell this stuff to the blacksmith, although I might be able to. Sell? Trade? Buy glass? You buy cop? You buy iron? That's cool. Uh, I, I, I like my iron, though. But, you know... Hmm... I'll pass for now. I will pass. I will talk to the man at the dead horse, though. You know what they say about beating a dead horse... It doesn't it doesn't doesn't move. It doesn't scream or anything. There is no suffering. It is dead. The dead horse. Bad luck again, Captain? That's fine. Buy this burial certificate. 
Buy some bread? Oh, you buy my bread? For eight copper a piece? Shove it, dude. That's a really shitty deal. I don't like that at all. And what I'm also equally displeased about is the fact that Wagner, if I give him wine, he gives me a story. I can get stories on my own, dude. But I guess if I had like a ton of wine, then that might be a worthwhile investment for me. Merchant is gone, but our spirits are not. Because like ghosts and stuff, you know? Let's see about planting these gra oh, but I need the trellises first. Ooh. Gotta get those trellises. Put all that stuff in there. Craft it at Zombie Vineyard? Zombie Vineyard? I can craft them at a Zombie Vineyard? What is- how does that make sense? I don't know. Put all this stuff away. Oh, didn't want to put the bowls in here. But now we have the bowls in here. Bowls should be outside. Bulls outside. Bulls go outside. Bulls out here. Here. And that. And the iron. And the glass. And the stone. And the stone. I cannot plant these grape seeds. Although, mm, maybe I can. Maybe I can plant these seeds. I cannot plant these seeds. I need trellises. And I believe... Believe I can... Might be able to find trellises up there. Are those trellises? Those might actually be trellises up there. They got sticks coming out of the ground. Seems significant. Maybe. Let's investigate. For the sake of the vineyard. Can I plant? Yes! Woo! Awesome! Yeah, I got one green point. And we got we got grapes growing. That's great. Porter station? What's a porter station do? I don't know, but I want to craft that. I need clean paper, nails, and flitches. I want to craft that. Clean paper, nails, flitches. Seems easy enough. That's not difficult. Potentially. Shouldn't be difficult. Flitches. Nails. I need eight flitches, four nails. Only four nails, please. Let's take eight for good measure in case my memory is dumb. I need more flitches, so let's make a few of those. And then I need clean paper, which I'm pretty sure I can craft in my little church basement area. Um, and I know there's a body. There's another body over here. So let's find that body. Ugh. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. I work out. Extract the flesh. Oh, you know it. What do now? What did I come here for? I need clean paper. How to make clean paper. Clean paper is easily made like that. But I have clean paper, apparently. Do I really? Is it down here? Hey! Look at it! Clean paper. I like that. Clean paper. I got that now. Now I'll make my way back over to the fermentation station. And as I pass by the fermentation station, I'll go up to the Sweet Home Alabama. And as I make my way through the Sweet Home Alabama, I'll pass myself up to the vineyards. How very exquisite. And I'm gonna make a porterhouse. Like, like a porterhouse steak? Is that a thing? Porterhouse steak? Or am I just misspeaking? Porter station. Um. Can I, can I put that anywhere? Um, uh, can say I'm very confused. Do I need to like clean a clear space for it? Maybe I need to clear a space for it. Can I like? Oh, I can break this down. Okay. All right, got some stone. Gonna dig this out of the ground. Maybe this is what I need. Chop this down. Whatever. I think that's what we think. What we go, what we gotta do. Maybe. My toolbox is broke. Damn it! Okay, that's fine. Maybe I can build the porterhouse now. Potentially, build porterhouse. Why does it want me to put it there? Can I put it here? Can I put it down here? Can I put it over here? Can I put it over there? Can I put it up here? Oh, look! It, it only fits here. Oh, 
Why would you place it all the way down there then? It makes no sense. Cargo. What is this? What what is what is this? Uh well I I don't know. Uh Porter Station! We did it! I don't I don't know what that does. But um I guess it doesn't really matter. But my axe is broken. That's sad. And that's sad. I don't know what to do about that. Well, I mean, I, I, I know what there is to do. Oh, apparently I've got to fix a shovel. I also want to fix my axe with the Queetstone. And uh, why not? My shovel's almost broken, but I already have a shovel. Can I put the shovel in here? Shovel in there. There we go. Better shovel. Oh, just kidding. Bad shovel. Exchange with good shovel. Now I have good shovel. Good shovel, very good. Hence the name good shovel. That's cool. Um, let's see. It's, it's green day. Collect a bucket of blood and five bloody things from the dungeon. You know what? It feels like a dungeon kind of day. But I don't have a lot of... Oh, you know, I need healing items. That's... That's the deal. I need healing items. And I don't have a lot of healing items. Actually, I don't have any healing items. How am I supposed to heal myself down there? I get energy items. I got those. But I've got healing. Maybe. I need alchemy for that. Perchance. But I guess I don't really need the heals. I'll be fine without the heals for now. All of spells, I just... I just come back up. Right? Probably. I do need some energy, though. So, I'll, I'll sleep it off. Sleep it off. I'll sleep it off. Oh, well, ow. I'm so refreshed. Yes. Yes, you are. Well, I got some grapes growing upstairs. That's good. I will probably not produce a lot of grapes. I wonder, actually... What type of fertilizers can I research over here? Can one of them give me, like, more seeds? Because that would be excellent if I could get that. I guess we'll wait till next Sunday so I can research more things. And after researching more things, good stuff will happen. You're busy? Fine. You're busy, then. I need skulls to make skulls on the wall and skulls in a column. That sounds threatening. Dungeon level... Two. Ooh. I wonder what other type of monsters I'll find down here. Spooky, scary monster. Whoa, shit. Hi there. Hey, what's up, bud? Yeah. Slimes? More bats? Bats? Yeah, that's right. Do it again. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, of course. But of course. But of course, everyone. Ah, jeez. There we go. It's fine. It's okay. It's going to be just fine. And the slimes? Slimes aren't very threatening. Nah, that's fine. Slimes are fine. But apparently, I need to destroy all of the enemies on this floor in order to move on. So, that's what we'll do. Oh, is there actually stuff in here? Oh my god, there's stuff in here! Just kidding! Is there stuff in any of these? No! Of course not! There's nothing in the bookshelves! Why did I even bother? Who cares? Oh. I got some flitches, though. I'm gonna break all your shit. It's all mine now. All this scrap will belong to me. Nothing else is broken. So I'll move on. Unfortunately, I can't break things. I can only dismantle things that are already broken. Hi, slime. Oh, dear. Hi there. Hey, what's up? Whoa, hello. Ah, oh, that was easy. Although I still take damage. I really gotta be less... I gotta be more careful. Is anything in here? No. What's down there? Blood. Blood and guts and gore. And a slime, apparently. Oh, that's energy gone. Hello. Break the pots. I got pumpkin seeds. Oh, yo! That's great! I forgot you can find seeds down here. That's really advantageous. Hello. Oh, dear. Hi there. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, hi there. Yeah, that's okay, actually. I'm totally cool with that. Hello, slime. 
Come at me. <laughs> gotcha. There's got to be more enemy. Oh, I see them right over there. If only there was a message that popped up on the screen, like, congrats, you killed all the enemies in the basement. Like, that'd be cool. Whoa, hi there. Gotcha. Hello. Oh, you lunged at me twice there. That's mucho aggressive. Wheat seeds, beet seeds, metal scrap bowl. Nice. What kind of stuff do I have on me? How much space do I have in my inventory? I got plenty of space. Ah, so nice about the pumpkin seed. And I got a ceramic jug! I don't know what to do with these. It's like the ceramic bowls. They'll eventually serve a purpose, I'm sure. But for now, am Clovis. Okay. So I, I gotta find those other enemies. I gotta go up, back, and around, because apparently I missed a corridor. But it's fine. It's chill. I'm chill. You're chill. We're all chill. For chill, chill. Just chill, bro. Come on. Chill. Chill, dude. Where are the bats at? Where are the slimes at? Oh, I had to go down. <laughs> of course. Of course, I had to take the right way or the dead end. Oh, hi there. You're dead now. Do you got more? Hi there. Alrighty then. That's the game we're playing. This is the game we're playing. It's called Slime Rancher. Just kidding. Uh, it's already that. Nope. Uh, Graveyard Keeper. That's the game we're playing. And now I've got to walk all the way back to the other staircase because I think I've cleared the place out. I could very well be incorrect about that. Double checking all the corridors, or at least I'm trying to. I'm down to like half health and like half energy. Did I pick up any goodies down here to eat? I got these. Baked meat's good. Can I eat slime? Nope. Don't eat jelly. Jelly no good. Definitely wouldn't try that if I were me. Mostly because I, because I can. I mean, if I if I could try it, I totally would. So long as there's been enough evidence to state that it's safe for human consumption, or at least partially. There's more enemies, apparently. Where are you, enemies? I'm gonna get you. One way or another. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna... Getcha, 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 getcha. One way. Or another. Did I miss something down here? Did I miss like a room? Did I did I check out down here? I could have sworn that I did. Did I check actually? Oh look, oh hi there. Hi everybody. Okay, definitely did not check down here. I totally missed it. Shame on me. Shame on me. And these pots. What's in the pot? Metal scrap. Oh, what is that? Whoa, look at that. Yo, look at the grids. Look at all that. That's pretty cool. I want us to have a visual glitch. I found the checkerboard stage. What do you do about it? Nothing at all. I cannot do anything about it. There is nothing I may do. So we proceed. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I always like finding oddities in games. I don't know. I don't know if it was a glitch. I don't know if it was intended, but found it. Now I'm down on the next level. I'm trying to find the bucket of blood and stuff like that. So I'll just kind of keep on going until I feel like I got to go back up again. What the hell are those things? Do you lunge at me? Are you mosquitoes? Whoa. Oh, okay. 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 Hi. 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 Oh, they're really easy to kill. Chaos powder and health powder. That's cool. Toxic powder and acceleration powder. Whoa. Well, that's pretty cool. I got all this stuff now. Ooh. My computer says there's a Java update available. Oh, baby. When was the last time I used Java on this computer? I actually just tried to update Java on one of my other computers, and apparently I hadn't used it. It went completely unused. I oh, look at all this stuff. I got all these, all these types of powders. Let's see. Um, 
I feel like I don't need the ceramic jug or the ceramic bowls. So let's destroy that. Let's destroy this one piece of stone and let's destroy this, this jug. I don't need the jug. And collect these other powders. Order powder, death powder, life powder, powder, powder. Pitter powder, let's get at her. Oh, onion seeds. Oh, I like those. I do like onion seeds. I like them better than beet seeds. Oh, they're bronze star, but that's fine. I am kind of running out of energy. Uh, let's, let's, let's go. Running out of energy. I don't have my burgers on me, so I'm gonna head on back up to the surface. But now I know what level three has to offer. And that's pretty cool. Was there anything up to the north there? No. JK. Sweet. Well, now I got all this other powder that I can manipulate. That's cool. I know not what any of this is for. I guess maybe it's an easy way to get like those the little essences or whatever. I don't know. There's a lot here. Slowing powder. Oh my god, there's a lot of powder. Can I keep this in any particular location or can I do I just have to use the, the chest? I guess I just got to use the chest. Um, I actually already have acceleration powder. Let's see how much I can fit in there. Hmm. Can I keep the flyers and the notes in the scroll thing over here? I feel like I'd, I'd be able to, right? Yeah? Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll work much better. And then I'll put all my other gunk in here. Why did I have river sand? Oh, to make, uh, whatever it was. I remember now. Well, I don't remember, clearly, but... I try. Can I put the stories in there too? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I can put metal scrap in there too. Oh, I can put anything I want in this scroll shelf. <laughs> why am I even? Why am I even asking? Easy. Um, but can I do anything down here? I can make a hand mixer. I can turn that into uh, stuff. Was there another like thing that I can make? Alchemy workbench. Two? What was this? An alchemy workbench? This is alchemy workbench? This is a hand mixer. Oh, I don't even have. Oh, I do have an alchemy mixer. Hey yo. That's the church workbench. Just kidding. Um. Huh. Alright, well. Oh, alright then. Uh, I want to see how to make the alchemy. I guess alchemy 2. Electric boogaloo. Bad ears go down here. How to make the alchemy workbench 2. I also have the alchemy mill, which I apparently haven't made yet, but I also have have marble. I need glass distillation cube alchemy rack desk scroll shelf there's plenty of things to make but we're trying to focus on alcohol today but perhaps not i do need to see about getting those expensive glass tools did i research that oh, okay i need glass blower too for that so i can't actually make that alchemy stuff just yet that's okay Increase my furnace productivity and can smelt more ore per load. With the rules of burning, anything's possible. What can I do on today? Make 10 silver star wine. Don't know why you need that much wine, but alas. Oh, there's what's this. Pray? Oh. Oh! I got faith! Oh my god! That was awesome! Now I have faith again. That's pretty cool. Awesome. I didn't know I could get faith from the confessional. Oh, that's great. That definitely impacts my life in a positive way. I like that. And you know what else I like? The power pack taste of Sunny D. Unleash the power of the sun. Or, or don't. Like, really, there's no pressure here. Uh, you're on my table. Workity, workity. Oh, I have no energy. All right, I guess you'll see. I'll save you all for later. Well, actually, okay, well. You, I don't like very much, so I'll leave you on the ground. Uh, you, I'm gonna put over here. Oh, hello. What can you do for, oh. Hmm. I don't like him. It's of no use to me. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Don't you love it when you pick up your drink and your coaster goes with it? That means the coaster's doing its job. 
keeping all the water from getting on my desk. Instead, it absorbs into the little cardboard coaster. Can I actually do anything with this closet? Feels like a waste. All right, but I don't know. IDK. IDK. LOL. JK. Rafflecopter. I remember when I was younger, I was obsessed with the... <laughs> With the uh, uh, the notion of acronyms and outrageous acronyms that I so boldly deemed outrageous. For example, Rafflecopter. The acronym which stands for Roll on the Floor Laughing Can't Operate Properly Until Eyes Refocus. Which is like... <laughs> really? There's a lot to unpack there. There is. But clearly, if you're the kind of person who says Rafflecopter, there might very well be quite a lot to unpack there. Just maybe. Put some of my seeds in here. Do I have any common seeds? Nah, not really. I'll find some more. I got some more mushrooms. Got some more mushroom. Got some more berry. That's good. How's my wine doing? Is my wine doing good? I don't know. I genuinely can't tell from here. All my other crops are just fine, and honestly, I'm just too lazy to harvest them right now. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, you're not done yet. You're definitely not done yet. Well, eventually, I'll have, um... I'll have zombies to do my bidding for me. That'll be cool. Astrologer! I have acid, I have the restoration tools. I don't have any of those, sorry. I have nothing to sell to you. What do you have to sell to me? Soft cover? A book? Book! Effect on use. I gain points. Gives 25 when you... Oh, you can get books on on stuff. I can get them at a random text generator. That sounds cool. I'm at level 3 with this guy already? Great book. Damn. Just book. Can we get decomposed on a study table to get knowledge? Okay. I guess it's all about studying. That's what the astrologer do. And I can also buy feathers from him. Can I... What can I buy from you, fishy dude? No. Alright, none of you are useful. But man, look at all these apples! I can't wait to eat all these apples! Mmm! Apples! Apples! Yummy. No, I don't want to chop down the tree! just want the mushroom. Is there anything secret behind here? <gasps> Ooh, nothing at all! I thought it was going to be exciting, so I got excited. Now I know how wrong I was. What's going on down here? Can I harvest this stuff? This looks all nice and decrepit. Can I plant? I can plant? Oh, I can plant. That's a flower. That's stuff. Can I can I clear this out? I'll clear this out. I'll help out. I'll help clear the land. Clear the land of a thousand shrubberies? Not that, not that it helps, but I don't know. Maybe. Making the land look beautiful. I'm gonna make your garden look great there, fishy dude and astrologer. Your garden's gonna look pretty. It's gonna look beautiful. You watch. You wait and you see. Mwah! Just like that. It's gonna be great. I promise you that. Plants? I don't wanna plant. I wanna... No, I don't wanna plant. I'm, I'm sticking to that. I don't wanna plant. Lighthouse. <gasps> More berries! And this shit in the wall! Dig, 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 dig. More green points! More berries. Additional berries. A surplus of berries. And whatever's down here. Anything? Hello, tree. Does cutting down this tree give me anything in particular? No, probably not. The lighthouse is so decrepit. It must get so cold in there at night. During the winter times. Are there seasons in this game? I don't think there's seasons in this game. Not like in Stardew Valley. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Stardew Valley... Apparently, they just came out with a board game. So cute. Apparently, uh, um, what was it? What's his face? Concerned Ape had been working with this one board game developer for, for a while to try to really capture the essence of Stardew Valley. It looks cool. I'd love to play it sometime. Maybe even stream it. I've been trying. I, I've mentioned before, like, I eventually want to stream, like, playing some board games with my fiance because we're both really, really into it. And uh, it'd be cool to also you know, be able to put some content like that out there. Uh, she just showed me a, uh, a couple who apparently, um, they, uh, they do, like, board game reviews on YouTube, and I think it's really, really cute, and we're like, we could do something like that. It'd be really, really fun. 
But uh, I I'll admit, I don't have the right camera angles for that stuff. When I've done like my sketch, my um, my sketch things, like my sketch streams, I like that camera angle, and I think that would be really, really nice and advantageous for a board game. But I don't have the right resolution. I don't have anything that focus well, and it just the, the the way that it looks from a distance just isn't where I want it to be. There's plenty of improvements to be made. Plenty of improvements to be made, and eventually we'll all get there. I think at least. I I yearn for those days. I think it'll be cool. Maybe. One day, one day, just not today. Previously, the goal was to be able to get a little bit of moolah, get a little bit of money in the bank first before spending stuff on that, and now that the full-time job is a thing, I can save up for stuff like that, which is quite nice. That's uh, that's one of the nice parts about having like a sort of like sort of income like that. Like, yeah, is a lot of my time being taken up? Absolutely, but like you know, I can support my family, I can support my fiance while she's doing her clinical stuff. I can support myself, obviously. That's, that's good. That's good. I think that's a really important thing. Plus, like, I kind of needed to get to that point where I was, like, at a mental readiness for, like, a full-time job. And although, I don't think by the time... Yo! What's going on, Neko? Welcome, everybody. It's spooky time. Welcome, welcome to all. I was recollecting about my recent job acquisition and how I don't think I was particularly ready to get the job, but the opportunity presented itself and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I hope y'all are having a wonderful evening so far or day or whatever time it is and whatever time zone you're in. We got some spooky time over here. It's Spooktober. Technically, I've been playing this since before Spooktober started because, um, I don't know. I had an urge. I don't know. I had like an urge to play Stardew Valley. But I didn't want to play Stardew Valley because I had played it before. So my mindset was like, let's do this instead. Yo, let's do some LED one flexions. I think I remember what those are. I got to move my Lego box out of the way. Excuse me. Here's a little bit of Lego ASMR. I... There we go. It's not, it's not ASMR. It's not. I don't have a good enough camera for that. All right, flexions. This is the most not fun exercise on there. But at least everyone gets to see the color of my plaid pants. There we go. To do an LED one flexion, you kind of like put your foot out like a, like a ballerina and bring it in front of you also like a ballerina. So you can't really tell, but my feet are definitely going up. I promise you that. And it's all for the sake of exercise, I guess. I don't know, this feels, this feels okay. I went for a run earlier today and I cycled earlier today. You get to work, to and from work. So uh, it, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Thank you for the reminder to take, uh, to take a, to take an exercise break. Not really a break, but you know, you know how it is. Thank you, dearest. Always a pleasure. This is very, very good. How is your class going, dearest? I'm pretty sure you're in class right now. Aren't you in class right now? What are you doing? You slacker. No, just kidding. You work hard. You deserve to take a break every once in a while. If not, literally all the time. Take more breaks. That's my motto. Take more breaks. Actually, I was even talking to my, I was talking to my boss earlier today, and he was like, all right, um, meeting's over, I got a big pitch later, I'm gonna go take a nap upstairs, and I was like, oh, you can do that at work? And he's like, yeah, if you're tired, take a nap, no problem. And so now, I really want to take a nap. His response wasn't specifically that, his response was, well, if the dog can take a nap, I can take a nap, because, uh, one of my coworkers brings a cute little dog to work? He's so cute! Oh my god, wait, I have a picture of the dog. I'm gonna share the picture of the dog. Is it- is it weird to share pictures of somebody else's dog? Is that- is that weird to do? Well, I'm gonna take a picture- I'm gonna show a picture- show off a picture of somebody else's dog, because it's a cute little puppy dog. Cute little doggy! He's so cute! His name is Oliver! He's such a cutie. He's sitting up on top of, uh, one of the- one of the, the um, the couches in that picture. What a cutie. But so, my boss was like, well, if Oliver can take a nap, I could take a nap. He naps all day. And I was like, yeah, but like, he doesn't get paid for that. But dogs are paid differently than humans are. Dogs get paid in like love and affection. I, I do not get paid in love and affection. I, <laughs> it'd be one hell of the world if the currency with which I was paid for the job that I do was love and affection. I feel like appropriate in today's standards, probably not. I think that's just exploitation. But then again, if I really needed, 
if hugs and kisses paid the bills, I suppose it'd be a better world, wouldn't it be? <laughs> That's all great. That's all great. <laughs> Tired Neko needs a nap? I understand. Let's take the words of my boss as rule for all. Take a nap. You deserve a nap. Whatever work you've been doing, you deserve a nap. It's all a part of the pro- I've always liked to tell myself that relaxation is a part of the process, which is completely hypocritical coming from me right now. I really have not taken time to relax. I have not been getting much sleep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm proud of that, but I'm working on it. But uh, relaxation isn't part of the process. The stream stuff is a bit of a relaxation for me. I almost didn't. Because I was really, really tired and I thought taking the nap, but I went for my run. I was all energetic. And I was like, you know what? Can't just end the night there. Gotta continue. Gotta continue. And of course, what else do we gotta do when it's on Sunday? <laughs> it's Lord's Day, baby. And it's time to do a, uh, do a prayer. That's what we're in for. What will I pray about this week? I'm gonna pray for those who cannot. Uh, I don't have space in my inventory. Uh, I'm gonna teleport myself upstairs. Then I'm gonna put all the stuff I need where it needs to be. There, there we go, there we go. Oh, I don't have enough. Ugh. I need more space. I'm gonna make some berry juice. I make berry juice. Oh, but I make berry juice with apple. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. If I have my berries, I can take the berries downstairs and make it into berry juice. Or, or a pail of berry. I, I don't exactly know how it works. Let's put mushrooms in there. Can I put apples in there? I don't have enough space for apples. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, let's cook up some meat. I can make baked meat. That's fine. Now I got more space for uh, apples. Apples, that's fine. I'll take this down to the basement. Take it down to the basement. Put it in here. Oh, it takes 25 berries for a pail of berry juice. Well, let's go, go, go. Go, go, gadget. All right. I have not have enough. Uh, can I eat this? Can you eat that? Can I eat that? Can I eat this? Yes, I can. I ate a maggot. It was for the sake of the berry juice. I stand by that. I... I stand by that. Anyway, so I have a pail of berry juice now. And I... I don't know what the... Oh, look at that! Bottle of berry from it! I was... I didn't realize how to do that. Okay, cool. Nice! And that's gonna take some time. Awesome. Now it's time to go pray to the... the I don't know, the fertility gods for a ripe harvest. I'm praying for a ripe harvest this holiday season. Speaking of which, the harvest is coming up. I'm not a farmer, but uh, around my birthday, my parents, or we would put on a party at my at my parents' house back in high school and whatnot, and my birthday party would be, I, I didn't like having birthday parties. I really don't like the idea of everybody coming by and giving me gifts and stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't need gifts. I don't need people to spend their generosity on me. Like, it's just, I, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. But what I do want, what I do need is for people to be happy, be social, and have a good time uh, in a safe and comfortable environment. So we would put on this little harvest party of ours. And um, around, like, you know, mid-November, we'd have all of our friends come over, family come over, and we'd gather to celebrate the harvest. We call it the harvest party. Now, some people were, like, kind of, they keyed into the fact that, oh, this is a birthday party. Like... Cameron's birthday was a couple days before is in a couple days, so we're gonna bring gifts for Cameron. In which case, obviously. I totally appreciate that. I was actually talking to my uh, fellow streamer buddy, Lycos Lore, the other day. Love that man! But uh, he was like... or Actually, no, it wasn't him. I think it was somebody else. I think it was Thank, I guess. It was like, birthday stream coming up. And I was like, oh, you're right. I could totally do a birthday stream. But uh, it can't be on Saturday. Can't be on the Saturday after my birthday. Because that's reserved... For other things. That's reserved for something. I don't exactly know what it is. Apparently, my dearest Disney queen has some something planned on that Saturday. I don't know what it is. But she was like, Cameron, the Saturday after your birthday, um, block it off. Y your whole day is blocked off. And I was like, all right. That's just how it is then. And I'm okay with that. And so, I'm okay with that. 
I don't know what we have in store, but I'm sure it's going to be absolutely wonderful. You know what would be really cool? If it was a couple's massage. I've been thinking about massages lately. I got a friend of mine who we were going to uh, hang out with for Halloween, but unfortunately, she can't get out of work. But she's a masseuse. I think that's so cool. Like, I don't, I don't have, I don't think I have that type of anything. Oh my god, I just noticed. I have more food that I can make over here. Does any of it give health? None of them give health. Nope. Not at all. Where's my sandwich? The sandwich is made over here. I need more sandwiches. Mmm. Sandwiches. And if I had onions, I could make more sandwiches. Mmm. Sandwich. So moist and delicious. Sandwich. I'm coming for you. Sandwich. I am. And then I can go downstairs and do a little bit of research. Actually. Actually. Why can I not pick up this? Alright. That sandwich just needed a little convincing, I guess. I wonder if my, is my, are my grapes grown? Do I have grapes now? How many good grapes do I have? <gasps> it's grapes. I got them. Yes. How many seeds do I have? Please tell me I have. But I got six grapes. That's good. That's good then. Actually, you know what? I will wait to plant more seeds. I need to get more from the merchant, so I don't actually have enough seeds yet to grow any more grapes, but I do have some grapes. How many grapes do I need for grape juice? I feel like I need just enough amount of berries too, right? Do I need like 25 something? Oh, that dropped. That's cool. How much grape do I need? 15. Okay, yeah. But that's that level, and I have silver level grapes. That's good. Now that I've got this berry ferment, I can create booze! Oh, but I need fire in this thing, and I don't have any sticks on me, so I gotta go upstairs and grab some of that. Alright then. Do I have any firewood? Could probably make some firewood. I need them from billets. I don't have any billets. Let's make some billets. Billet, 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 billet. Get some billets in there. Gotta put some firewood in there. Mm-hmm. Hey, welcome to the party there, Terra Chris. I'm guessing the P is silent as in pterodactyl. That's what I'm- that's what I'm supposing, at least. Thank you for joining the party. It's been a long time, but the party has a newcomer, and I'm happy with that. And for that, we put on party hats for that. Yes, I'm so excited! Oh my god, hello! But if Neku is indeed going off and going nappy time, honestly, more power to you. I'll be napping in about an hour. Probably. I need- I need the rest. I definitely need to. I- my coworker at work the other day was just like, I never believed in the, the dark circles around people's eyes. And I was like, what do you mean you never believed in them? He's like, yeah. I, I feel like he probably, like, was under the concept, like, when you watch, like, some animes or some shows, like, some characters have, like, dark circles around their eyes for whatever reason. And they were like, yeah, no. I just, I just didn't think people actually had them. But I looked at your face this morning, and you have those dark circles around your eyes. And I didn't know... If that was a particular hit to, like, something? Or whether I just look tired? I definitely look tired. Actually, another coworker of mine was like, you look tired. And I... I couldn't say no. <laughs> I am tired. I am a tired, tired boy. I'm not, like, tired right now. But, like, I wake up in the morning and, you know, it's... It's difficult to get up sometimes. It's tiresome. I can admit that. A little difficult to get up in the morning sometimes. So, I have a plan. So, previously, I worked really, really well by setting myself an alarm that was earlier than I knew that I was going to get up, and then I snooze it like twice, and then by the time I snooze it twice, I'm getting up at the normal time. And I used to be really, really good at that. I've become really, really bad at that. This morning, I snoozed four times and woke up an hour later. Still on time, mind you. I was still on time, but like, it was a lot later in the day than I had anticipated it to be. And that's mostly because, like, my tactic, if my body is, like, getting really, really good at be not being tricked by the alarm, for example, previously, if my phone is too close to me, I will unconsciously snooze it. Or accidentally, unconsciously, turn it off. And then that's unfortunate for the rest of the day. But currently... My bed, my, my head is on the opposite side of the room as my phone is. So, I have to lean up and reach forward 
in order to snooze or turn off my alarm. That was working for quite a while. By the time that I get up out of the bed or lean upwards, I'm like, well, I'm already up. I might as well, I might as well just get up and take my shower. But no, 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 my body started laying back down. I'm just like, well, I snoozed it. So I guess I've deserved to flop backwards and then do the whole thing all over again. Sometimes up to four times in a day. So I need a better tactic. And the tactic is moving my phone charger. The location where my phone will sit will be elsewhere. Somewhere completely out of arm's reach because it just needs to be. It's gotta be. It's, uh, it's a bit of an issue. I have to like, it's, I feel like, is it a bad thing that I feel like I have to fight with my subconscious to get up in the morning? Apparently some people are not like that. I was under the impression that like most people get like really tired in the morning and maybe struggle to get up. But like, I've also been told too that like, you know, struggling to get up in the morning is like, it's a symptom of some types of mental illness. But when I think of like struggle to get up in the morning, I think like, I'm gonna stay in bed for like an hour or two. But apparently, I know people who are close to me that don't have any problem getting up right after their alarm is done. Like they can't fall back to sleep after their alarm goes off. So they have to stay up. So they get up and go about their daily life. I know two people like that who are close to me. I don't know how they do it. I I have not cracked the code. I just, I, I don't know how to do it. But so I, that's why I have, to, I have to like trick my mind into staying up in the morning. So now the idea is the phone charger will be in a, such a location that I have to stand up in order to get to it. Once I stand up, I'll be like, mm. time to take a shower. Because there's no sense flopping back into bed or else I have to get up all up and over all over again. Not necessarily take a shower or whatever else I do in my morning routine, which sometimes it's take a shower first. Sometimes it's water my plants first. I do like to greet my plants in the morning. That's a that's a wonderful thing to do. I, I enjoy that. Oh, you know, now that I've got more faith, I can research these other bodily parts and gain faith. Blue points, not faith, blue points beyond our wildest dreams and research technology that has to do with the human body. So I'll research the heart. I'll research the intestines. Hot. Um, can I research any of this stuff? I can research grapes, but I want faith today. Faith, trust, and blood and guts. And I think I can also, there are also some other things that I can harvest from these bodies down here. This is a little bit of a morbid game for those who are not prepared. But can you ever prepare yourself for blood, guts, and gore? I suppose if, like, like you're a doctor, then probably. In which case, I'm sure you probably better be very used to that. Or else, I'm sure your profession isn't that pleasant. I currently have intestines and hearts in my inventory. Um, I can also research skin, which I have not researched yet. And apparently bone and fat. So let's take, let's extract a bone. Let's extract some fat. I'll research those as well. And with hopefully the little I have left, I'll research some skin. Right? Do I have enough energy? Yeah, but I need more energy anyway. Oh, it's hmm, it's Claw Day. On Claw Day, we talk to the merchant so I can buy more fanciful grape seeds. But first, I'm gonna eat a sandwich. Or four sandwiches. Pick an item to study. Let's study some skin. Ha, give me some skin! All right. That was easy. The item cannot be decomposed. Oh, but I got a lot of faith points for that. But not as much as for a bone. Nah, that's really not a lot either. That took a little bit of effort. It can be decomposed into powder. What type of powder? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, oh, well, apparently I can't decompose it in a hand mixer. I have learned that now. Alrighty then. How about fat? Cellulose. Adipose, if you will. Can be decomposed in a fluid. I already knew that. Can I decompose it in a fluid over here? Fat? What does that turn into? Oh, it's like a red liquid. What is that? Slowing solution. Alright. Well, now I've got that. 
And technically, I can research those too. Does that any of them give uh, faith? Oh, blue, I mean, blue points. It's not faith. It's blue points. Blue points? I like blue points. Blue points. Do you enjoy the blue points? Any more blue point stuff? Nah, not really. That's fine. Like blue points. Pick it out of the table. I'm going to research the intestines. I need some more science after this. Hmm. It can be decomposed into powder. Incredible. Uh, and I can also probably do this life powder. Oh, I just... I don't need faith for that, actually. I just need science. Science, dude! Alright. Can I decompose any of these guys into science? That's 15. Uh, but I got plenty of clean paper. So let's take some of that and decompose it. Decompose it into science. Decompose it into science. Decompose it, decompose it, decompose it into science. Alright. And I, I guess I'll, I'll research it with science. Easy mode. I completed the study of life powder. I don't know, like, aside from just learning how to decompose things farther, I don't exactly know what studying does, aside from giving you points. But, um, points are still good. Points are good. And the heart requires two faith, or one more faith than I already have. Um, yeah, I'm satisfied with that. That, that, that should be good for now. Um, let's put these powders back inside. I'll put the faith back inside. That's okay. I'll put the other pieces of body over here. And I'll make my way into town. Actually, I'll make my way into town first so I can go grab that additional grape seed. The grape seed will go into the ground and make beautiful, beautiful grapes. Hence the name grape seed. Naturally. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. I come to purchase goods. Do you have more, more grape seeds? Like it. Gold jewelry details. Craft that out of jewelry. That, that's a lot of money. Can I make? I can craft that out of jewelry table. I can indeed sell those. That's really cool. But I don't have a use for that right now. One more grape seed. Finish that offer. Thank you. Now I've got... I got one? Wait a minute. Can I sell stuff to you? No, I can sell the grape seed. I thought I had... Where did my other grape seed go? Did I accidentally put that somewhere? Probably. I probably put it into one of the chests. By accident. I'll go collect my booze first. Now I have booze. What can I do with booze? Seemingly nothing right now. But I accept that. We'll figure it out later. Where did I put these seeds? Did I put it over here? Might have put it in this chest over here. Might have. Maybe. Did I put it in the chest? Grape seeds? Grape seeds? No. No grape seeds. Did I did I put it in the did I put it in the food chest? Mm, no. Is it with the rest of the seeds? Because if that's the case. Duh. Of course it would be with the rest of the seeds. Silly me. I just, I, I feel like I distinctly remember me remembering or considering, nah, 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 don't put it in the chest. Oh, look, there's my grape seeds. Ha, <laughs> ha, whatever. Well, I got it now. Interesting that I notice now you can't drink the booze. The main character cannot consume booze. They can consume wine and beer, but not booze. Very interesting. Oh, you know what? That's what I was considering. I wanted to consider a different type of fertilizer. So I'm going to research simple fertilizers. I have those now. Um, I can apparently... I can craft them at a church workbench? I craft fertilizer at a church workbench? Interesting. What does blending do? You like to drink good alcohol, especially wine. Your hangover depends of the alcohol you've d depends of the alcohol you've drank. Moreover, all alcohol you make has a better quality. I'm into it. I'm fine with that. Let's do. Let's focus on farm stuff. Farm stuff like that. Oh, and I don't have enough green. <gasps> I don't have enough green. Oh my god. I need. I need better green. Better chop down this tree to get more green. Green. I got one piece of green. It's good though. It's not bad. 
Not bad. You like to see it? I like to see it. What else makes green? What else does make green? I don't know. What else can I research? I need to save at least 50 for blending. So I have like 23 left over. What else do I got? Insects. Not really into that right now. Inborn Blacksmith, you like to work with Red Hot Iron Hammering relaxes you, and when work is done, you always manage to find time to make extra nails. Specifically nails? Alright. Oh, Class Blower 2. I do need that. Oh, but that costs 30. Oh, well, whatever. Ah, that's fine. Steel Sword with Gem. Ooh. Seems magical. Precious little things I can make. Oh, and you know, I also need to make steel parts for my alchemy table. So maybe that'll be next. But I need more green points. God, it's the green, it's the green, it's the green that I need. Clever. Well, I'll go plant the rest of the grapes up there. Let them grow for a bit. And if I need more, eh. Talk to the merchant again next week. No problem there. No problems there, not at all. Put it in there. There we go. Nice. Slowly but surely getting through this very, very fruity, fruity cocktail of mine. Honestly, it's a little, it's a bit sweet for me. It is very, very sweet to me. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'll be back in a hot second. I'm going to add a little bit of club soda to this to dilute it down for my taste. Hee 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 hee. Cameron's voice from the distance. No worries, I'm not gone. I'll just be gone for a moment. And I return. Now with club soda. To uh, kind of dilute the little drink a little bit. I know I, I am particular when it comes to my cocktail creations. Uh, I'm a little more of a... I'm not a very long guy. Rather short guy. Short meaning like more alcoholic more than the mixer and stuff like that. But this is like really, really sweet. Like really, really sweet. Probably because of all the grenadine I added to it. So I'm going to dilute it down a little bit. Make a little bit of a spritz. Kind of even things out a little bit. That would be better for me. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's much more pleasant for me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not bad at all. Anyway, back into it. Back into it, now that I'm not distracted by... the libation anymore. I bought my... bought my grapes. I did that. What else do I have to accomplish? Could get more green. Green is necessary. Blue is always necessary. Um... Hmm. Whatever type of strides for alcohol can I make downstairs? That seems to be the topic. Well, I know how to make grapes. I know how to get those. I could also... I also want to consider as well, other stuff as well. Hmm. We'll, we'll figure it out. Ah, well made. Gotta go to sleep. Like the stream. Have fun and see you next time. I will see you next time, Ter Chris. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. So long. Rest well. Rest more than I will. I will probably rest... Very little. Or perhaps, you know, you know, you know what? No, I'm gonna um, stay positive for that. I'm gonna rest great. So will you. It'll be wonderful. Peace out, my friend. Peace out, my friend. We'll have some more booze for next time. It'll be wonderful. But for that, we need more, we need more grapes. Gotta get more grapes. Gotta get more grapes. Which means I need more. Ah, P equals pie, so it's Peter. Oh, P. Pi Piter, Piter, I got gotcha. you. I got that. Peter, Peter Piter. I understand. I don't know why my mind went straight to P T E R as in pterodactyl. My apologies. I guess my mind is in the prehistoric realm right now. Gotta love it. Gotta love it sometimes. I sleep for the evening. I'll grab some more energy. You know what? I think I'm gonna go down into the dungeons. That's gonna go. It's to get people confused. <laughs> you got me. You did indeed. Honestly. Honestly. We gotta... Sometimes we gotta keep us all on our toes. I, I like being kept on my toes. If I'm not on my toes all the time, then... How will I be well aware and prepared for the unexpected? Yeah. Might gotta change it later. Potentially. I, I kind of like... Now that the joke has been explained, or now that, now that it's been explained, I'm like, you know what? I get it. I get it. But I suppose for newcomers, or those who are not familiar, it might be a little confusing. It's all about those first impressions. So I understand that. 
Oh, there's no more enemies down here. Wait a minute. In the in these areas down here, if I defeat the enemies... If I defeat the enemies, do they stay dead? That's really cool. Wait, how I said it? How I said it? I said, um, well, you said P is in pi, like the, the Greek letter. So I was going to say Piter, but then you said Peter. So Peter, I'm going, I'm going Peter. It's either Peter or Piter. Although originally I said Tear Chris. Tear is in like pterodactyl. Or like, like Tear is in like P-T-E-R is in pterodactyl. I don't know. There's three different potential possibilities of how to do the pronunciation in there. Keeps my mind going. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I I tend to overthink things a lot. So it's it was bound to happen eventually. Oh my god, stay away from me. Oh my god, stay away from me. Ah! Oh my god. Run! Oh my god. Alright, that didn't work as well as I thought it would. Well, I mean, to kind of quell some of the confusions, it's either. P-T-E-R is in pterodactyl. Piter or Peter. It's what it's gotta be one of the three. I can't even think of a fourth way to say it. Although, we could get very creative. There are ways to get creative. I know that. Although, perhaps that's not a tonight thing. That's not a that's not a it's it's like 9.30 for me. Maybe it's not a 9.30 p.m. thing. Oh my goodness. There we go. These flies are... Flies are scary. Hey, pal. But they drop all the good stuff. Oh, that was easy. It's Peter like Peter Parker. There we go. Awesome. See, that's... We have now quelled all sense of confusion. I, for one, am not confused anymore. Peter like Peter Parker, like Spider-Man. Like Spooter Dude, Spooter, Spooter Boy. On that topic, somebody told me, based off of my last haircut, that I look like Tom Holland. I don't agree, but somehow that came to mind. Because, like, you know, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. I think I prefer the original Tobey Maguire. But, like, more in a memeingful way than anything else. I used the pie because I thought that pie was said P-E- not pie. Oh, okay. Well, technically, so that pie would be spelled at P-I, and if you didn't already know, you might think, well, P-I might be P. Like, like P is in like P-I-I, -I, like, like me, from like, me or we, like Nintendo. I understand the source of the confusion, but by our powers combined, we will quell all of such confusion and bring forth sweet clarity to the world. And with that clarity, we don off you the name Peter Chris. Amen. Case closed. Um. <laughs> English is harder than we all thought. Honestly, I mean, supposedly, from what I've been told, English is the hardest language to learn, or one of the hardest languages to learn, which, naturally, I'm inclined to believe, uh, no, it's not. I speak it just fine, but that's my first language, so I'm a little biased. I'm also a stickler for, like, grammar and stuff like that. I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a, like, uh, like, if you forget the comma in the wrong place, I might be like, mm. you miss a comma there, or, or uh, if if there's no like, if the grammar's a little off, I'll kind of comment on it. There's a couple of grammar weirdnesses in this game, and I tend to point them out. And I don't know if that's like, I don't think it's helping anybody, so I don't know if I should continue with that. But um, I do a bit of code work with the with with the job that I got now, and I'm very often finding misspellings in function titles and variables, and I'm like. Spell the word over there. And the guy who coded is just like. But then again, English is not English is not his first language, so that's. I'm not surprised that there's a misspelling every once in a while. And honestly, it's not like I'm opening up. I'm, I'm opening up issues like that because that would just be petty and probably annoying. Annoying because there are 
quite a few spelling mistakes in there, and if I opened up a single issue for every single one of them, it'd be like, really? You gotta go and do that? Like, no, I don't have to. I'm just funny like that. Or at least I can be. Come to think of it, I don't think, like, code programs have, like, spelling errors and stuff. Hmm. Ah, English is not Peter's English uh, first language, so it's gonna, gonna make a lot of mistakes. Totally fine. I mean, even still, as a native speaker myself, I oftentimes get tongue-tied and twisted for words. When, when, when the camera's on like this, actually, you know, it's not even when the camera's on. Anytime that I'm in a, I'm in a social scenario and my mind starts, my mouth starts going and my mind just kind of stops, I fumble every once in a while. Or, uh, or sometimes we just, we just make up words. And honestly, that just gets across. Like, like, I don't know. I'm gonna cut down this, uh, big, big old, big old, um, stag water. The stag water. Cutting down the stag water. And after you hear that sound of a felling stag water, you'd be like, oh my god, I know exactly what he's talking about. You get wood from stag waters. Duh. And then somebody will take that out of the context and be like, what is he talking about? What, what the hell is the stag water? I don't get the joke. And then I'll be like, hey, there is no joke. I just messed up. Let's not look too, too far into it. Haha, <laughs> all right. No big deal. Everything's great. But there's absolutely no worries there. On the bright side, we can all make mistakes together. We can all make the mistakes together. Including forgetting words sometimes. Very often, I will have those moments where like, it's on the tip of your tongue. Like, I know, I know exactly what I want to say, but I just can't come up with the word for it. Like, trying to explain, exactly, like, trying to explain, like, that, that thing, that thing that you do, you know? You go to, you go to, um, um, what is it? You're, I don't know, I was trying to come up with an example. Let's see, um, I don't know. You, um, you're, you're working, you're, like, the thing where you work machinery, you're, you're operating machinery. But, like, maybe operates a... I don't know. Maybe that's not even the right word to use. I don't know. I, I think... I think... I think we get it. I think... I think... I think we're vibing. I think we're talking about the same thing. I don't know. You know what? I don't know what that thing is. I know what that thing that we're talking about. And there must be a word for that thing that we're talking about. Where we can't think of the word. But we're trying to replace it with another word. Or reach toward it as best as we can. It's on the tip of your tongue. But like... I don't know what that word is. But we all know what we're talking about. Tip of the tongue. There's probably a word for that. And I bet it's like... In German or something. German has a lot of, a lot of those very specific words, like Schadenfreude, like it's that, that good smiley feeling you get at the expense of others' happiness. When other people suffer, it makes you feel happy. That's Schadenfreude. There's a whole song about it. It's great. Or like, um, what is it? There's a French word called frisson, and that's the that's the name for like like the chills that you get. Like, when you listen to, like, when you get, like, really, really emotional, or you listen to the song that has just, just the right chord played at just the right time, or, or, like, you know, it's cold outside, and you, you get a little shiver. It's called frisson. It's a, it's cool. It's one of those feelings that, like, I've tried to get to more of in my life. Previously, I was like, oh my god, I just got the chills again. That's not a good thing. My body must be, like, reacting or something. But, but now I get the chills when I'm, like, in a really, really good, like, really relaxed state of mind. Like, I'll be really, really relaxed, I'll take a deep breath, and then I'll just get that chill. And then I just feel really, really good for a moment. And that, the, the, that chill, that frisson, or maybe it's just frisson. Maybe I'm just making this too complicated. It's, it's spelled F-R-I-S-S-O-N. I've pronounced it frisson, because that's what... Google pronounced it as because it's a French word. So naturally when I heard French word, I had Google in French pronounce it for me. But maybe it's just frisson. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. The more the uh, you know, the more you know. You get to learn something new every single day. I'm constantly learning new things every day. That's that's uh, I kind of like that about about life. On the bright side, despite the fact that I don't have as much time to, like, my own, like, hobbies and stuff like that, 
Work has taught me a lot of things, and I am learning a lot every single day, which is like really, really cool. That's like, it's like a level of like mental stimulation and learning that I just, I haven't had since like, like very specific classes in like college. I have not experienced anything like that since then, which is like really, really cool. What do I work with? I work with firmware. So what I, my current position is a firmware developer. So if you think about programming, like, like on your computer, you're programming, but the computers that you're programming are a hell of a lot smaller. They're like tiny little circuits. I'm wondering if I got one of those around here in my little collection. Miscellaneous chips. Um, that's a pretty bad example. Chips. Chips, chips, chips. Yeah, like this guy. So technically, I program the chips like this. Not a, not a CPU, not like this thing. You'd find this inside of like a computer. Uh, mine are a lot smaller than that. Much smaller. They would look more like... Oh my god, I have them around here. Where are you? Here we go. Here's a better example. Nanotech? Well, not nanotech. Like, like this size. So this is a board that I got from a previous position I was at. That guy. Sorry, my camera doesn't focus, but like that guy right there? That's the stuff that I would be programming. That's, um... I don't know what chip that is. Oh, no, 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 I don't program that guy. I pro that one. That's the Bluetooth chip. Wireless technology. It's cool stuff. It's really, really cool. I've always been interested in, like, hacky stuff like that. And, um, not only do I actually do, like, the programming on it, but, like, I get to, like... I get to super secretly, like, hack devices and then figure out how they work, which is really, really cool. It's really, really awesome. I've always been like, I've always been interested in like that hacker nature -y stuff and I'm learning like a ton of like, of the tricks that some people use to do that. So cool. I could talk on that for like, for hours. I love to, I get like really, really into tech stuff sometimes. Gotta, but I digress, but I digress. It is really, really cool, I would say. I'd say anything like, I was, I've was. i always been like really, really enthralled by computers and stuff. So naturally, that's what I studied with. That's what I kind of, you know, when, when the time came to pick a college major, I was like, well, I like computers. And so my guidance counselor was like, how about electrical engineering? And I was like, all right, let's do it. And that's what we did. Pretty, pretty easy decision to make. And I, do, I, I don't regret any of it. I think it's really, really cool. Um, oh my god, I completely lost my train of thought. What was I doing? I got so... Oh, I got so excited about the stuff that happened. The stuff that I do. I completely forgot what was going on. Let's see. Oh, let's check on the grapes. The grapes are growing. The grapes are growing. And there's research to be done. And also things to build, like alchemy tables. But in order to get the alchemy table, I need extra glass... Like... Devices. Glass flasks. If I don't have the glass flasks, then I don't have that. I also need gears, but I need silver for that. So I need more research, need more technology. But in the meantime, what else do we need? We need more dead bodies in the ground. That's what we need, more dead bodies, ladies and gentlemen. This would be cool. Peter's trying to go for a system information college or electrical engineering college, honestly. And I may be biased here, I think electrical engineering is awesome. I think I sway more towards the computer engineering side nowadays. Electrical engineering is like circuitry and like like power grids. Uh, more so than like, let's say computer engineering, which is more like algorithms and computers and stuff like that. I'm not sure what system information college would be. I guess that would be like kind of like information technology, like IT work. In which case you think work with like you get to work with like the big computers. If I'm thinking of the right thing, you get to work with like the big, big computers, like big, big, nasty servers that like are facilitating like hundreds of billions of bytes of internet traffic and users every day. That stuff is really cool. That's like really, really big scale. I work with like kind of the small scale, but the small scale stuff is really cool. If you think about it this way, I guess on that side, it's big, big scale on one device I've got small smell scale on many devices. So technically the scale is more or less equivalent, but it's cool. I'm gonna take this body and throw it in the lake. But yeah, I like programming stuff. I, I never, I didn't think of myself as a programmer until college came around. I mean, technically speaking, so I took, 
I took a class in high school. I took one programming class in high school, and I was like, ah, this is pretty cool. I can make the computer do whatever I wanted to. That's really, really awesome. But, like, do I want to just do this? And the answer was kind of no. I was like, I'm not really, I don't really want to do just coding. Because, I, honestly, I felt really intimidated about it. I've seen, like, a lot of, like, coding work that classmates have done and people on the internet have done. And there are some really, really phenomenal coders out there. And I don't even think I'm anywhere close to them. And so that idea kind of completely turned me off from becoming like a programmer. I was like, I, I don't think I'll ever be like the greats. So I don't want to go that route. Granted, to be perfectly honest, I'll never be like the greats in any sort of thing. You gotta, you gotta make your own path. But that's just a completely different philosophical topic. But like, I never thought that I would be able to get to that point. So I was like, I don't really want to do that. But then college came around and for my electrical engineering degree, they made you program. And as I programmed, I was like, I'm liking this more and more and more. But I still don't want to do it forever. And, and a lot of the do stuff I do now is not necessarily just programming work. It's a lot of it's a lot of hands-on. Like, not only do we have like the actual code itself, we got like the device, the little board. And I get to play around with this thing. And that's I think that's the coolest part. The coolest part for me was the fact that I get to, I'm still like hands-on with all that stuff. I still get to like I still get to like you know like I can build a computer. I can touch the keyboard, but like, that's not the same as opening up the computer or opening up like your phone and playing around with what's on the inside of it. I've got like, gosh, I've got so many like random bits of electronics around here. Like, like if I never, if I never got into like electrical stuff, I would have never found whatever the heck this thing is. I have no idea what this thing is, but I'd love to figure out what it's used for right one day. It's got like, it's got cables coming off of it. I don't know what it does, but like, whatever. Stuff like that is so cool. And uh, I, I will find that as a, uh, as a, like, as, as a bit of a, an electrical person myself, I'm a bit of a hoarder. That was just one box of many. There, there are many, there are many more boxes in there. Like, what the heck is this thing? It's, it's a variable resistor. That's cool. What the heck is, uh, um, I don't know. What the heck is this thing? Um, probably a heating element that gets really hot when you plug it in. I don't know. What about, um, what about, uh, oh, that's apparently attached to something. What is this? What is this? That looks to be part of a speaker system, or at least it was. Oh, everything dropped. Oh, <laughs> there's the rest of it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's a mess for later. Anyway, anyway. I digress. I got a lot of that stuff hanging around. But yeah. Ah. Crazy stuff. But uh, but I, mi I missed that last comment. Some years ago you tried programming Python, but hadn't had the free time, so just kind of ended up making a calculator. Yeah, that's awesome. I've done a lot of... I did a lot of Python work in, uh, in college. My, my college was like, we're going to teach you all this language called MATLAB. And everyone was like, we don't like that. And so they were like, okay, fine, you can do Python instead. Python's just really, it's really easy to use. I think the language that I do now for the work that I do is called C. C as in Cameron with an X. Naturally. Nah, I don't exactly know what C stands for. Maybe C just stands for computer in that context. Heck if I know, I wouldn't know. Oh my God, it's Lord's Day. It's time to go pray. <laughs> I feel like I'm completely digressing on everything going on here. But it is Lord's Day, and that's time to pray. So that's good. I, I'll remember that at least. I, I never forget Lord's Day. Except at the very beginning of the stream about two hours ago. I did forget about Lord's Day then. But that was because of a mixed misunderstanding. Prayer will be available again next Sunday. Next Lord's Day. But it is Lord's Day! What are you talking about? Fine, I'm gonna go hang around in the graveyard for a bit. Or I'm gonna take this confession. Confess yourself. What is your sin? All right, I dig it. Let's just say their sin was leaving the toilet seat up. That's 20 Hail Marys or something. You despicable human. Just kidding. Oh, I see. It's not dawn yet. I need to wait till dawn to conduct the ceremony. It's crazy. What's up there, Bishop boy? It's church time! So I stream once a week, 
as of right now, my schedule's been a little bit of flux. I only started my job, my most recent job, about a month and a half ago. And I've still been trying to, like, juggle around, like, full-time job and hobby stuff. I'm figuring it out. Pending some appro internal approval, and by internal approval, I mean all up here. I'm gonna try to go back to, like, twice a week, Tuesday or Thursday. But for now, it's once a week, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. And that's what we're good with right now. As of right now. That's what I'm keeping with for now. It's a, it's easy, it's it's a little, it's a, more manageable for me right now. So that's what I'm keeping with. And you know, honestly, I find, like, I find previously, I used to do like much more than that. When I was still in, when I was still in college, um, during my senior year, I had a lot more time to spend on stuff like that. So I was streaming like three times a week, baby. And it was awesome. It was great. What time is it there? Right now, it is 9.52. So we've been on for about two hours so far. I suppose there's probably a time zone difference, in which case, I understand. It's about, so let's say it's about 10 o'clock right here right now, so two hours ago. Whatever time it is for you, two hours ago, that's when these shindigs happen. So it'll be about 9 p.m.? I dig it. Not bad. Not bad. If it makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. I got no way to confirm nor deny it, so I'll take it. I seem like I live on the East Coast. I do live on the East Coast. I live in the metropolitan city center of Philadelphia. And eventually I'll move out of here. But for now, <laughs> this is where I am. You can kind of... Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. You can see the big old tower. You can see one of the big old skyscrapers from here. I used to work in that tower. Nice place. Nice place. Yeah, it's a pretty good place. Quieter than New York. I'm cool with that. I like, I like, I like it here. Then again, then again. I have been here for almost six years now, because this is where I went to college, this is where my fiancé currently does her graduate work, so we're, uh, we're hanging. We're hanging here for a little bit, probably the next couple of years. It's nice and pleasant. I, I like it here. And I live in, like, uh, one of the, uh, I, I consider it to be the nicer area. Not to say, like, parts of the city are, like, really, really bad, but, like, some, some parts of the city are just, like, you know, not as aesthetically pleasing, I'll say. Not to make any, like, like other sort of comments, of course, but like for lack of a better anything else, some place just don't look at don't look at nice. We got a nice looking place up here. It's pretty good. We're by like the art museum. It's nice. Although I will, I do have complaints, of course. Uh, the lights are always on at night. There's always people on bicycles going back and forth. Not bicycles, like motorcycles. And that's kind of annoying. That's kind of noisy. But I'm a very heavy sleeper, so really doesn't affect me too much. I'm all right. I ain't complaining. Heart. Hearts can be decomposed into essence, apparently. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, look at all that. Wow, that's a lot of knowledge. Um, let's see. I also need marble. Do, have I researched marble yet? Well, let's see. Um, I want to get to the art of stone. Oh, wow, I need... Oh, a polished brick of marble versus a polished brick of stone. Hmm. Where was my thing from before? Where's the alcohol part? There you are! Oh, brewing needs 50. Alright, well, I can research that. In contrast, Peter's in the countryside, so the nights are black. Oh, wait, is it, is it really, like, is the sky dark enough over there where you can, like, see, like, the Milky Way? Or, like, all the stars in the sky? Because I'll be honest, I can't see stars in the sky in the city. Although, back where my parents live, it's a lot more of a rural area. Um, I'm, it's a, it's a lot more, it's a lot more less light polluted over there. So I can see the stars. Can't see the Milky Way, but I can see the stars. I've always wanted to be in a place where I could see the Milky Way, but haven't been there yet. Not that black, but wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my god, it'd be so cool. I feel like there are a couple like places I've got that I want to go on that's on my bucket list. One of which is space, obviously. It'd be really easy to see the Milky Way up in space. Also, I've always wanted to go on one of those like deep sea cruises where like you're just in the middle of nowhere and it's just you in the sky. There's no cities around. And because of that, it feels like like there's no light to pollute the, the sky. You can just see, hopefully, the Milky Way out there. It'd be really, really cool. And ideally, it wouldn't be on, like, a cruise. It'd be on, like, a little boat. I could turn the engine off and enjoy the quiet and tranquility of the middle of the ocean. But, like, I don't know how quiet it gets in the middle of the ocean. I'd need calm waters. That would be really, really cool. Although incredibly scary. I don't... I'm not currently afraid of the ocean. But, like, if it was literally just me and the oceans, then I feel like perhaps I'd feel differently. Maybe. 
Need more blacksmith iron to get more nails. I need stone. Where the stone at? Where the stone? Where the stone? Where the stone at? I see stone carving over here, and I need more faith. So I'm gonna have to wait on that. Some places in Africa have that. Oh, I believe that. There's a lot of, I mean, to what I understand, I don't know much about the African continent, but I suppose there are a lot of areas where it's not like, I mean, to be honest, I don't know if there are many, like, skyscraper cities in Africa. I don't know. I don't know too much about that particular area. I know, I suppose, like, South, A South Africa's got some cities. I just, I feel like that's more of a, like, a technologically advanced area. But I could be totally wrong about that. Honestly, I, I don't admit any knowledge. So, I don't know. I love to learn. We'd have to see how industrialized it is. But I'm definitely like, I'm sure there's plenty of other, like, I, I'm sure Antarctica or like the poles of the earth definitely have those beautiful, beautiful dark skies. That'd be so cool. That'd be so, so cool. A fun thing about South Africa. Ooh. I'm on the edge of my seat now. I do, I, I do love learning new things from like stream stuff. I always tend to learn something new. There's always there's always more information to be found. There's three capital cities. Interesting. That's so cool. What are the capital cities? Now I'm curious. I wonder if I recognize any of them. Not that I'm very familiar with geography in general, but I'd feel like really like, hey. Alright. I recognize that city over there. Like like when somebody's like, hey, do you recognize, like, Indianapolis? I'm like, yeah, it's in Indiana, hence the name Indianapolis. And they're like, good on you. You must know your stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I do, I do. Then I can take this knowledge to work with me tomorrow and be like, hey, did y'all know about the capitals of South Africa? Bet y'all didn't. I don't know if I have many, like, I I'd love to give a fact in conjunction, but, like, I don't know if I have many, like, facts about, like, uh, like, countries in general? Executive Pretoria, Pretoria, Judicial Bloemfontein, and Legislative Cape Town. I've actually heard of Cape Town, although that might have just been, like, a fantasy setting, and it had nothing to do with the South African nation. Um, uh, I've heard of Pretoria, though. I have. There's a song. Actually, that's really interesting. That's bringing back memories. There was a, there was a, a singing event that I went to back in high school with my choir, and we sung a song called Marching to Praetoria. Although, I don't know if it was P-R-A-Toria or P-R-E-Toria, but like, the spelling might just be a little different. I wonder if it's the same place. So cool. But it's a, that's, that's got a nice little jovial beat to it. It's like, um, um, the only part of the song that I remember is about food, so... We like food and food is good and so we will eat together, so we will eat together, so we will eat together when we, yeah, we will eat together as we march along. We are marching to Praetoria, Praetoria, Praetoria. We're marching to Praetoria, Praetoria, hurrah. And that's how that song went. I think I only heard it once. We only sung it once. We learned it all in one day and then sung it just for fun. Just for funsies. I miss those days. I'm not a part of a choir anymore. Instead, I just kind of sing to myself in the car. That's always a fun time. I'm trying to work on my singing voice. I try to do like I, I haven't. I, I'll be honest. Since being out of like high school, I have not done any like vocal warm ups, but I'm trying to get better at that. I figure like while I'm driving along, driving along the world. Might as well do some exercise, like some vocal exercises to keep my voice up to snuff. I do wind up doing a lot of talking in the week, so it makes sense. But I just got really foggy out. Spooky. Songs to learn geography. And now, you know, now that you mentioned that, I think of like the 50 States song. Um, I don't know any of the states in that order. But I know it goes to the theme of like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Alabama's one of them. It was from the Animaniacs. I really need to watch the remake of the Animaniacs again now that I'm thinking about it. I never really watched the original either, but I know that was on there. I'm pretty sure they taught us us children that back in elementary school. The, um... Gosh, if only I remembered the first... Like, I can't... The, the tune to the song is on the tip of my tongue, quite literally. Like, if I remembered it, I'd be able to, like, kind of hum it along. But I can't. I cannot. 
All right, so what else? What else do I need? I need to craft down here. I want to work on the alchemy workbench. And I need a polished brick of stone, wooden plank, and alchemy workbench. And in order to get the polished brick of stone, I need more faith, more blue stuff, and more green stuff. I need some more of that. Any mini, any mini X was totally cool. I loved, I loved the characters. And uh, the fact that every once in a while, some clips of it show up on the internet. Like a variety of different things. Always gotta love it. I'll research some wheat because I need some more green points. You should watch it with your little sister. If I had, if I had like little siblings to watch with, I mean, I do have little siblings. I have, I have a younger brother and I have a youngest brother, but I don't know if, you know, I could probably sit down and watch Animaniacs with them. Oh, totally. My youngest brother would be totally into that. My younger brother lives up in Vermont now, so. But uh, if you're out there, Julian, I love you. And Brendan, if you're out there too, I love you too. And mom and dad, while you're out there, I love you. I love you as well. You're, you're all great. But yeah. I'm gonna need more green. Uh, actually, I didn't like get a lot of green from that. Huh. I need more green. I need more green stuff. Hmm. But another song to learn, another song to learn cool more places is A Passage to Bangkok from Rush. Really? I haven't listened to a lot of Rush. I like... Oh, God. I'm gonna wind up getting my songs mixed up. I do like a couple of songs from Rush, but I don't remember which songs, to be perfectly honest. I just recognize... My mother's favorite band is Rush, actually. Come to think of it. And I'm trying to think what they did. What albums did they do? I'm actually looking this up for my own reference, because I come from a very musical family, and I should be ashamed of myself for not having that right on the tip of everything. Tom Sawyer. Love that song. Limelight. One of my favorite bands does a really great cover of that song, Limelight. Uh, let's see. Closer to the Heart is one of my mother's favorite songs, I think. I guess I gotta listen to that sometime. I always get, I don't know why, I always get Pink Floyd and Rush mixed up. Not exactly sure why. 2112? I don't recognize that. That's probably a pop culture reference that I don't recognize. Although, I'd be happy to be enlightened by it. Being that somebody knows what we're talking about. Unless that, that might not be Rush related at all. In which case, you got me. By association, I was like, oh, that must be a Rush thing. Well, maybe. I'm sure my mother would recognize if my mother were on here tonight. I know! I was talking to her earlier! She could be around here! One never knows! She might be in that. It's a 20-minute song from Rush. Really? Like a story. I hope it's a good story. Honestly, from what I understand, it's Rush. I don't think it could be a bad story. I like, um, I think, I don't know why I always get, seem to get Rush and Pink Floyd mixed up, but I do like, but I think I know Pink Floyd's music much more than I know Rush. But I can definitely, I can recognize the singer of Rush, the, the singer of Rush's voice. Like, because Limelight sticks out in my head distinctly. I know a guy, I, I know, not a guy, I don't know a guy. I know plenty of guys, I know plenty of gals, I know plenty of people, but I know a band who does um, a cover of Limelight. The band's name is Ninja Sex Party. I love it, very interesting name, but they're a great band. But so, the lead singer of that band's voice is so distinctly different than the, uh, the singer of Rush that they stick out in my mind as two completely separate things, which is actually pretty cool. Pink Floyd's is one of your favorite bands too. Awesome. I wouldn't say that like Pink Floyd is like a favorite of mine. Like previously, when I first started getting into music, I was really, really into like rock and roll stuff. But I've kind of, I've all, I think I've kind of switched more towards alternative music. Alternative music is kind of like my jam nowadays, but I really appreciate the classics. And I really appreciate like homages to the classics as well. For example, like cover bands and stuff. Do you like me a nice good cover band? I will, I will say, name sounds weird, but if you have yet to listen to Ninja Sex Party, which I have brought up so many times on this show, they got great cover, they got really funny songs. They're kind of a comedy band, but they also do covers as well, if you're into the covers. And it's all, like, classic rock covers. And that's great. Some of my favorite covers they've done is, like, Fe Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, let's see. Uh, Africa by Toto. Classic. Um, Everybody Wants to Rule the World is a favorite favorite of mine. Um, Lady to Comer of Limelight. And I also really, really like Wish You Were Here. That was a good one. Ninja sex party? Ninja sex party? Nah, ninja. Just one ninja. 
And it's not possessive either. Or NSP. They also go to NSP, the acronym. <laughs> Here are two bands for you. Oh, I got my note cards ready. I'm gonna write them down. And I'll add them to my list of things to listen to in the morning on my ride to work. Or at least within the next week. <laughs> I don't have a notepad on me, but I have tiny little post-it notes. I'm ready. I am prepped and ready for more information. First to 11. First to 11. Which is a cover band with some original. I like that. I'm supposing, being that we're on the topic of conversation of Rush and Pink Floyd, I'm supposing them, but if not... Always nice to rediscover some of the classics with other than ones. And Aviators! Oh! I've heard of Aviators before! Oh my gosh! I wonder if I know any of their songs, though. I don't know if I know any off the top of my head, but... I've heard of the Aviators before. Or just Aviators. I've definitely heard of Aviators before. Most definitely. I need carrots. I gotta go collect carrots. I'm running out of inventory space. Am I running out of inventory space? Just a little bit. Gotta get some of those. But there's some alternative music. That's probably why I recognize them. Makes sense. But I, I do like stuff like that. I think the, uh, the band that I've been listening to recently that's prominently alternative, um, and mostly because they show up on my lo-fi playlist. I like listening to lo-fi music, too. The lo-fi girl is top-notch, but is a band called Mother Mother. Like, you know, you have a father and you have a mother, except in this case, it's two mothers. Mother and mother. Like that band. Really like that band. Alternative stuff. I don't exactly know how to describe them. They just got a nice chill beat to them. Lo-fi is really cool to listen and, and to, to make as well. I've never made music before. I mean, let's say, okay, I've taken a music theory class, so I have made music before. I've never made any lo-fi. I've never done any electronic music. Although, there's always a time to learn. Always a time for learning. I don't need all these maggots on me. I just need one maggot, please. Mother Mother, that's the one. Yeah. I think they're a Canadian band. Canadian alternative band. I like their music. They've got a lot of, uh, I think the, the lead singer has, like, um, a voice range similar to mine. So I find myself being able to sing their songs very easily. Which is cool. They've got some, they've got some notable albums. Namely, uh... I don't know. Okay, I don't remember the album names, but one's got a baby on the front of it. A white baby. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not talking, like, skin color white baby. Like, a porcelain white baby. Like, no, 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 like, no other color. It's just completely, completely, like, panel white. There's also one that kind of looks like a jungle. Oh, that one's called Very Good Bad Thing. I think that one's called Very Good Bad Thing. I like that one. That one's very good. I very much like that. Uh, what's another one? This is my thinking face. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I can't think of what it was. Oh my god. I'm trying to think of literally the albums that I was listening to at work today. Eh, it's whatever. Anyway. There th those two albums for you. I like that stuff. Peter Chris remembered Mesuhaga. Mesuhaga? Mesuhaga? What is that? Is that another band? You know what? I'm gonna write it down anyway. What's going on the list? Mesu Mesuhaga. Me Su Ha Haga Extreme Metal Band Oh yo I'll admit I'm a lot I'll admit I'm not as into like very heavy metal bands as I would have been raised to be because my father does a lot of music. My father does like heavy metal type stuff. Or not heavy heavy, but you might have written it wrong. Hey, no problem. I'm sure Google will be able to translate. Or honestly, I'll, I'll wind up finding the name and be like, oh, I recognize this. I got that. Um, let's see. Mesu... Mesuhaga. You know what that reminds me of? It, it might not be related at all, but it reminds me of the word Meshugana, which was a hot topic over the weekend. Not over the past week, but a little bit, a little while ago. I was at a thrift store. I was wearing a cowboy hat because I bought a cowboy hat. And one of the denizens of the neighborhood was like, he's a real Meshuggah. And I was like, yeah, I am a Meshuggah. And everyone, we all had a good laugh. We all had a good laugh. I'm a bit of a Meshuggah. I, I will take that with me until the day I die. I honestly don't know how to spell that. That, that comes from a foreign tongue that I am not familiar with. 
So, all I have are these pronunciations. <laughs> yeah. Peter's a bit of a Meshugana. Meshugana. Oh, is it spelled with an X? Oh my god, that makes it even cooler! I don't know. It it might already be evident by the fact that there is there is an X in this in the username. I have a strange obsession with the le with the letter X. I just have this pre preconception that names with X in them are cooler, and I don't know why that is, but it just sounds cool. I'm down with it. But you know what? Hey, you know what? Even you don't know the word. That's okay. I think Mashogana just means somebody who's a little. I think the last I looked it up. You know what? Whatever. You know. Hey, buddy. Hey, Google. Buddy, buddy, Google. Come to my aid. Define Mashogana. Here are some results. Apparently, Mashogana is a song by a band called Kryptonite. But I wanted the definition, Google, if that's okay. Meshugana! Meshugana, 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 Meshugana. Meshugana? Meshugana. Where was the description? Where are you, Meshugana? Hello? Meshugana? Uh... What does Meshugana mean? Meshugana is Yiddish slang for a person who acts in a crazy or nonsensical way. It can also be used as an adjective to describe such a person or as a noun meaning nonsense. For example, you are a rather Meshugana person. Yiddish is a dialect of German based on Hebrew. Some of its words have been borrowed into English as slang terms. Meshugana is typically used as an insult in a way that is intended to be funny, even if the insult is serious. Meshugana is also spelled with two Gs and with ER at the end of them. Used in a sentence, that Meshugana almost ran me off the road. Meshugana. Spelled M-E-S-H-U-G-A-N-A -A or two Gs or the same thing but with ER at the end instead of the A. We've learned something new today. Now, I know the full force of Meshuggah in today's society. What can I do with these mushrooms? Can I do something with these mushrooms? Can I make mushroom stew or something? Can I cook mushrooms? Cooking the mushrooms? Oh, I can make beet slices. Oh, that's hot. Oh. Why haven't I made beet slices before? Car carrot cutlets? I could totally do that. But what about with the mushrooms? Oh, yo, baked mushrooms. Hey, yo, gotcha. I'll make some baked mushrooms. Tasty. All right, cool. Uh, I also have a bunch of wheat. So I'll put that in there. Oh, need some more. Did I need wheat for some things? I'll take the rest of the wheat downstairs because that's useful for beer. Let's see. Well, it's a little after 10 p.m. now. So I think... I'm gonna figure out what else to do. Oh my god, I should go check on the... It's claw day. I should go check on the grapes. And then go buy some more grape seeds from the merchant. In case those ones have grown. But I think I'm gonna check on... I'm gonna check on the grapes. I'm gonna go say hello to my buddy the merchant. And I think we're gonna make it to green day. I think I'll do one more dive into the dungeon down below. And then I think I'll call it a night for this evening. And we'll pick up next time. Yes! I have four grape seeds! That's great. I love that. It's time to do some side leg lifts. Oh my god, I definitely just ran something over. What did I just run over? Oh, it was one of my electronics. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh well. Time to do side leg lifts. Oh my god. Oh, just kidding. I have a desk open back there. I have a, a drawer. Oh, hello. I have a very small space to work with. My apartment is not very large. Come on, get in there. Oh my god. I've fallen to the ground. Anyway. But Meshuggah... Oh, goodness. I've knocked over a bottle, too. I can't even read things with, without knocking shit over. Anywho, time's... Uh, side leg lifts. But Meshuggah now wrote it correctly. How to the hardest songs to play on guitar. Aha. It's one of the hardest songs to play on guitar. Really? Well, then. I have not... I, I don't know if I've ever actually listened to Meshuggah before. I don't know, no, no. I don't know about that. Although, I can totally add it to my list. I gotta add that to my list of songs to listen to. What I wind up doing is anytime somebody makes a song recommendation or an artist recommendation, I'll just kind of go on to Spotify and I'll follow the artist. I don't follow many artists. Or what I'll do is I'll like, I'll follow the artist and I'll take one of their songs and I'll like it. I'll like like the top song. And then if I really like this top song, it'll show up in like, I listen to my like songs every once in a while, I'll go through them all. 
And so eventually, I'll go through them, and I'll be like, wow, I don't recognize this song at all. Why did this end up here? And I'll be like, oh my god, that's like a song by this band that somebody requested me to listen to. Or like, this is that song that somebody was telling me that I should listen to. And eventually, if it's on the liked songs, I'll do it. I'll do it sometime. Oh, it's nighttime, so I will not be able to buy more grape seeds. But I didn't need to, because the grapes were all good. Do I have enough grapes for some wine? I wonder if I do. Hmm. Huge mistake while doing the light songs on Spotify. Oh, what kind? Of, it couldn't have been that big a mistake. I think the biggest mistake that I have made. I don't know. I was like very, like, I got like two hundred something on songs on my liked songs. But like, I'll, I'll sometimes go through and I'll be like, eh. But I'm not really like, I'm not really into that type of liked song right now. So, you know, it really depends. Um, oh, you liked like hundreds of albums. Oh, and now all of the songs are on there. That'll do it. That'll do it. What is this thing over here? Craft? Oh, stone garden. I can make a stone garden. That's cute. I didn't know that was an option. Well, I got six stone and I'll get some river sand from the basement. Huh. Six stone? Give me some stone. I'll make that. And then I'll go to sleep for the evening. And I have river sand in the basement. And now you need to dis dislike the songs one by one. I mean, if they're all good songs, then that ain't so bad. You can listen to one of them and be like, all right, well, I don't like it that much and then go through. But honestly, that sounds like a bit of a chore. I can completely understand that. Well, let's see. You've worked to hundreds of albums, which means you've probably got thousands of songs in there. How long have you got? How far have you gotten with that? How many songs have you disliked so far? I'm really curious how far along, like, I wonder, like, when did you realize that you made this mistake? <laughs> like, like, did you like, like, you're like, I like this album, like that album, like that album, and then you went to the, like, songs, you were like, oh, no, like, immediately, or did it take you a while? Because I feel like something like that, I'm a rather dense person, would have taken me a very long time to realize. I would have wound up going through and be like, huh, I don't recognize that song. Oh, but I recognize the album cover. Oh, dear. <laughs> Account made back in 2018. Got a little bit of... Got a ways to go there, it seems. Oh, maggots can be made into life solution. Very cute. And realized in 2020, oh my god. I... I do not pity the position that you're in. However, I do wish you the best of luck on it. But I feel like it could be a nice game. Maybe you can make it like a small... Like small increments, right? Like, just a couple songs a day. Like, whenever you're listening to it, you'd be like, you know? I... Just gonna listen through things and like if you don't like it then you just click the dislike button usually what i wind up doing is anytime i put on the like songs if i'm not into it i just don't like it there's a button click not too bad although although i'm usually using spotify on like a phone um and so i guess the interface might not be as might not be as user friendly to dislike a bunch of songs at once if you have for example the desktop edition in which case you gotta go through and click every single one of them which would be annoying, but like, I don't mind pressing. Pressing's okay. Came down here for river sand. Did 10 river sand. But like, I feel like poking, poking all the dislikes, not as bad as having to click them all. Unless like, I mean, technically, you could use those Python skills of yours to create an auto clicker that'll dislike all the songs, and then you can go through one by one and re-add them all back. Or you know, I wonder if there is a way on Spotify to just dislike all of your liked songs. Or export them all. Like, dislike all of your liked songs, right? Like, this is this is how I would try to go about doing it. I would export every single song that I've liked. All hundreds of thousands of them. And then I would go through and just pick out which ones I do like. Chances are, there's probably only going to be like a few handfuls or a couple like hundred that I like. So then, I dislike all of the songs and then only go back in and click on all the other ones. But sometimes it bugs. You can't click dislike and it just waits. Is that the same? Is that like the bug where like you click the like button or the dislike button and it just it just it just pops back or it stays on that playlist? Because I've experienced that a lot before. Not recently, but I have too fallen victim to that. Like like you'll click on the song and be like, I like this song, and you'll go back and you'll be like, Where's my song? Or like, I'm pretty sure I removed that from a playlist. I actually just found out something really weird about Spotify the other day. Um, a buddy 
uh, a, a family friend of ours came over and he was like, I'm trying to play my Spotify playlist on the television, but it won't show up. I don't know why. It's a public playlist. Why can I not search for it? Here's a funny thing about Spotify. Spotify only indexes popular playlists. And what I mean by that is only if your playlist has enough followers does it get get indexed for searching. So just because just because you can just because your playlist is public does not mean that anybody can search for it, which is interesting. And I find that very odd. Oh my god, I can meditate? I didn't know I can meditate in this game. Yo! Become one. Body and soul. Don't think about the alcohol that's currently being processed in your basement. We don't need it. Just think. Meditate. Interesting. I didn't know that I could make a stone garden. That's so cool. But yeah, that whole Spotify public thing, that really shocked me. Because come to think of it, like, I don't think I've ever searched for one of my playlists. Um, I've always, like, like, I can find my playlist because chances are, if I'm using somebody else's phone, I can find me. And if I can find me, my profile, then I can find the playlist attached to it, naturally. So that's easy to do, but I never actually look them up automatically like that. That's, that's something interesting. That's something wacky. Very interesting, but yeah, you know. Always search for the profile of the person who made the playlist. Exactly. It's exactly what I usually do. But then again, this person as well. I also tried to look for the profile of this person who was trying to find their own playlist on Spotify, and their their name is Jeff, and Jeff's account name is Jeff with a capital J. And I didn't even have to put an image in your head of how many Jeffs there must be out there on Spotify. So, needless to say, there are many Jeffs, artists, players, songs, playlists, albums. They're all named Jeff. So naturally. This one Jeff got lost in the sea of other Jeffs. An incredible story for the ages. Let's see what other kind of evil doodads and whatnot I can find down here. Hello, dead. Hello, dead. Hello, slime. Y'all ain't too bad. You don't scare me. The flies kind of scare me a little bit. They are a little disoriented. Oh, I didn't empty out my inventory. I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be okay. What's up, fly? Shoe fly. Shoe fly. All right. But yeah, so... Eventually, the workaround that we had was I had Jeff text his playlist link to me, and then I just logged into my uh, profile, uh, or, or rather, I logged into the profile on my phone, and then I just clicked like, oh, use the Fire TV as my device, and that worked. And he's like, you have made an old man happy. I'm like, I'm very happy to help you, Jeff. Steve T apparently does that in his video. Whoa, hello, Bat. Was not paying attention. Does that in his videos. He searches for random words and listens to unpopular artists with that word. That's cool. I like the idea of, like, listening for the little guys. I've always liked doing that. I've never heard of Steve T, though. But, um, that sounds really cool. And that way, like, the the, uh, the smaller artists kind of get a little bit of, get a little bit of more traction. Or share things like that. I've been trying to do... I, I've always wanted to do something like that. Like, um, like recently what I tried doing is I played this one, like, game that was, um, it was, like, just released. It didn't get a lot of traction. I was like, you know what? I'm a small fry. I'm gonna play a small game and see what happens. And it, it was fun. It was called Moonwave Overdrive. It was like a cyberpunk driving simulator game. It was really cool. But some songs that Steve Steve would look up, like, small words, including things like balls or nipples, honestly, I gotta wonder... Like, never judge a book, like, don't judge a book by its cover, right? I bet some of those songs, for example, a song by the name of Just Nipples, or like, Nipples and Tea, or Nipples and Milk, might be a wonderfully awesome, like, retro, like, synthwave song for all I know. Or like some really nice homages to classic rock. Or maybe it's like jazz. Honestly, you know what? Nipples and Milk sounds like a jazz song to me. It does. I get that idea. I'm trying to think. Just, just nips? Nips? Nips sound like, sounds like, 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 uh, trance music. 
maybe. I don't know. I could be totally way out of bounds like this. Or perhaps I'm just giving ideas to the next great artist who will create the next hip trance song. Nips. Or the next great jazz album. Nipples and Milk. I know not. The possibilities are endless. If we can take anything from this, if creativity comes from it, I'm down with it. What the hell are you? Oh my god, what the hell are you? Oh my god! Get away from me! What are you? Okay, well, you're dead now. Bloody nails. Yo, bloody nails. I was looking for that. Oh, sweet. Slice. Slice. Uh, oh, dear. That was freaky for a moment. Nipples and milk. I'm changing the name of your band for that. <laughs> for that right now. It could be the next big thing. It could literally be the next big thing. You don't know. You don't know until you try. I'm gonna put some of this flitch away. I don't need that. I'll take that, and I want the onions. Bring me the onions. Uh, I don't need this story. I'll destroy that. But I do want onions. Onion seeds! Bronze! I like that. I'll listen to your band. Actually, wait. Does, does your band have a current name? Dost thou have music on the Spotify? I will happily give your band a listen. I got a buddy of mine who's got a cool... Uh, got a nice band name. Um, he, his band name is Posted. As in posted note. And now live on Lollapalooza. Oh, duh. The band name is Nipples and Milk. I had almost forgotten. Oh my god, don't kill me. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> it almost killed me. But I got bloody nails. I'm gonna break apart these chairs. And then I'm gonna make my way back to the surface. Because I am in pain. My body is almost bleeding. Oh, I do want some of those. Nice, 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 nice. Get some of those. I want some of those metal bits. I don't need dowels. Who needs dowels? Where we're going, we don't need wooden dowels. Simple iron parts. Your band is a garage band and no drummer or vocalist. Pretty small. Hey, that's okay. What kind of instruments do you all play? If I may ask. I'm totally into that kind of stuff. Independent artists, I think, are exactly where it's all at. Technically... I can call myself a garage band. I'm just a singer. I don't have anything else. I know how to play some piano. I I can make a beat with with random objects that I can call drums. And technically speaking, technically speaking, I know a couple chords on guitar. Technically speaking. Although I have not touched a guitar in like quite a few months. Oh, excuse me. I also haven't really touched a piano in quite a few months. I mean, piano lessons in quite a few months. I have touched a piano within the last week. My parents' house has a piano. And so I go back home and I just like to play on the piano. You've got three members in your band. you got a bass player and two guitar players. You've got a vocalist in mind to call to play with you. That's really cool. I love that kind of stuff. I just like the, like, I've always wanted to be in a band myself, but I have yet to find a group of people like-minded enough for that type of stuff. Um, not having much luck with the drummers, though. That's kind of unfortunate. I mean, I wish, I wish I could, like, relate to the process of going out and searching for, like, a bandmate. I mean, like, I guess that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I, I'd love to be in a band, but, like... I mean, I know, let's see, I know one person who was like, yeah, let's do a band thing together, but I did not vibe well with them. I tried, we tried, but it didn't really work out. Their type, uh, the, 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 they were a little too, I'm a little more freeform when it comes to songs that I don't know, and they were rather by the book, which is odd, because, like, they do a lot of, like, jazz fusion stuff. And the fact that I needed to know the words to a song was very ironic to me. Like, like, you do, like, jazz fusion and stuff, but, like, I need to know the words to the song versus just, like, scatting on my own. Like, that feels a little counterintuitive. You'd think that the jazz fusionists were just like, yeah, man, go with the flow. Do whatever you feel is right. Uh, not in this case. No, sir. And that struck me as odd, but, you know, whatever. Let's see what those bloody nails have to offer. Can I put bloody nails in here? Oh, I can't research bloody nails. Shame. Can I research carp waste? More crop stuff? Green jelly? Any more stuff? It's all green. The green, the green, the green. Let's let's research some of that. I like that. Bum 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 bum. 
doing all this research is making me tired. So I will go to sleep in a little bit. Just a little bit. But Peter remembers once. It was really funny. What was really funny? I'm already laughing on the inside. Say, jam into some songs, and you're playing some Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Classy, classy. I'm imagining if this is getting gonna get into a moment where like, ah, uh, we kind of forgot the words of the song, but like, it's okay. It's all good, we're just gonna jam with it anyway. I feel like I've definitely heard stories of like, like bandmates being like, yeah, we were singing a song and then, I don't know, somebody did something different. And then, all of a sudden, we had a new song. And I hear those stories and I'm like, that's so cool! I love the idea that, like, things can come up like that. Like, all... Like, unannounced. Creativity can happen, like, at any turn. That stuff is so cool. But... And the bass guitar- the bass guitarist was playing one tone too high. But did it sound good, though? Is it something you could tap your feet to? I mean, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, that's- that's something you could tap your feet to. Actually, you know what? To be perfectly honest, it's not really a tap your feet kind of song. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think it's a very tap your feet kind of song. Although, it's incredibly catchy, and I think incredibly profound. I walk this lonely road, long the only one I've ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, and I walk alone. I, I like that. I like that song. Not a big... I think that was Green Day, right? That might have been Green Day. I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan of that band. If it happens to be Green Day. But like, I like that one. I like it Smells Like Teen Spirit. I think that's another one. And um, uh, whatever the one was. Wake Me Up When September Ends. That's like, that's an emotional one. But but in a good way. So, so Peter had politely asked him, Yo, dickhead, you're playing too, da too high. Move one tone down. And now, I bet it was reaction was one of two things. It was either like that classic, let's see, if he was the bass player, bass guitarist, he'd probably like strumming away like, all right, man. Yeah, okay, okay. Chill kind of guy. But he was like, what? And that's when we learned that our bass guitarist was just a little tone deaf. Or perhaps his bass guitar was out of tune and we just, just couldn't tell. I believe that. I think the piano in my parents' house is just a tad bit out of tune. I, um, I wouldn't know it myself, but my, my younger brother, Julian, he studied music. And so he's really, really good, like really, really good at like picking out like micro tonalities in music, which is like incredible. Like he could probably tell you how many cents away from a natural C a piano is tuned to, at least within like 10 or 15 cents, which I believe is a gauge of me measure between like musical tones. That's so crazy. <laughs> but we wind up telling him, you're playing an F, you're supposed to be playing an E. And he's like, what? A what? You know, actually, funny on, funny on that, it's interesting that you bring that up in particular because like my father at least, he, well, let's see, I don't know if he doesn't know like the notes on a keyboard, but I know that he doesn't read music. So I think recently he was asked to play some um, some songs with a, a band that he's playing with. Excuse me. And they handed him like sheet music and they were like, yo, so just play this line here. And he's like, can you play it for me first? And I was like, what's up with you? You can't, you can't sight read music? He's like, nah, I, I don't sight read music. He plays completely by ear. And I'm like, to be fair, I'm not really good at sight, sight singing music. I sing by ear. But I feel like, I, I don't know, maybe it's... I find it easier to sing by ear because... I don't know, I feel like I got more control over the voice versus other, like, other apparatuses such as a piano or a guitar. But alas. Oh. <sighs> Aha, but it's a friend of yours. Ah, so naturally the idea of calling each other dickhead is totally okay. I tend to call some of my friends some raunchy words. It's natural. It's only natural. We're all friends here. I was, um... <laughs> I was at work today and was joking around with one of my coworkers, and, uh, there was a little... There was a little bit of, uh, back and forth with some uncouth language, but it was all in good fun. At least I thought it was all in good fun. It might not have been. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. 
<laughs> but he didn't know the musical alphabet and didn't have any idea. But like, you know, I guess that's like, I suppose that would be like a perfect opportunity to like expand the world of music and teach him what it's all about. If you're like from a teaching perspective or just be like, hey, I found this one YouTube video that explains like the musical scale, like just get used to it. Just, just like, just know what the difference between the E and the D is. If you can figure out the difference between like E and D and like the sharps and the flats, then you're golden. Great sermon. Oh my God, everyone loved my sermon so much. I gotta start doing more difficult sermons to get more faith on the regular. Uh, but so I've got the rest of this faith here. I'm gonna go grab my donations from the donation box down here and I'm gonna do a little bit more research. And I think that's where I'm gonna call it for the evening. I'll do a little bit more on that and then we'll see. We'll save some more, we'll save some more alcoholic stuff for next week. Right, it's not even really alcohol. I mean, they really didn't do so much distillation in this game today. Not too much. It was mostly just finding other things and chatting up a storm. And that's all good. And you did want to teach them the music alphabet. Nice. Power to education. Big fan of that. I'm always, if I can teach somebody something, I'd rather. If I can, of course. Although, oftentimes... I may not be super duper good at it. I like to be able to like understand things as thoroughly as I possibly can. And if I can do that, then we're golden. But uh, although, yeah. I feel like I, I once once upon a time, I saw like a story of like somebody saying like, you don't fully understand something unless you can explain it to like somebody who has no idea what you're talking about. And of course the example they gave you, they, they gave was like quantum physics. Like, yeah, you don't know quantum physics unless you can explain it to your grandmother. And I was like, all right, well, I don't know something. I can explain some things to my grandma, but certainly not quantum physics. Certainly not a, oh my God, I'm out of paper. Oh, I need more paper. How do I make more clean paper? Oh, I can make more clean paper over here. <laughs> but now, the bass player knows someone knows when someone is out of tune, but it was funny because he played well, knew the chords, but did, just didn't know how to relate them together. I think that's like that's kind of the difference between like like application and theory, right? It seemed like he was very forth on the application side, like he knew how to play the chords, like on the guitar, but he didn't know necessarily like what notes were in them. For example, like the theory being like all the notes, all the names, all the letters of the notes. Versus the application being like actually playing them on like a guitar. I know, like, I feel like in any field, you will always struggle between like learning the theory and trying to figure out the application or applying it to the application. I know that's a big thing in like engineering curriculum, which is, you know, the biggest curriculum I've experienced. So makes sense. But I need more clean paper. Need more clean paper. Clean papier. Make some more paper. Ugh. <laughs> you and the bass player were like teachers at that day. Nice. That's good to hear though too that like, you know, in the band that you've got with the, even with the small group of people, like, you know, if you're all teaching each other things, I feel like you're benefiting from that. I feel like, I feel like if, if you can get a group of people together who can all learn from each other, then that is like an amazing thing. Like the, the people I know from some of the, I'm still keeping some contact with some of the people I knew from high school. And we got up, the, we got, got together the other day and played like a bunch of board games from each other. And we all learned some new board games. I think my buddy Matt had brought in a, uh, a board game called Shadows in the Woods, which was super cool. Uh, we had taught some of them to play a game, a classic one, uh, or not a classic, um, but a, a game called The Red Dragon Inn, which is awesome. These are all board games, by the way. My fiance and I are really, really into board games. If you're new to that, but so that was really cool. And we, we all learned things together and I love, I really like the idea of being able to learn things. One of the things that I was like most afraid of after college was like, will I ever stop learning? Like, will I ever become at a point where I don't have enough stuff to learn anymore? Uh, and I think my current working hypothesis is no, I don't think you will ever run out of things to learn, but like, you never know. You never really know. Maybe there will be no more knowledge to make one day. Although, I doubt that. There will always be something more to learn about. Oh, I need more energy. Oh, um, you give 12 and you give 20. I'll use up the baked mushrooms for now. Yeah, that's good. But I like that. Ugh. Oh, good times, good times. Good times. That was actually just last weekend, I think, yeah. I learned something from an old man called Mr. K. 
by chance, is Mr. K also a store that you're familiar with? Because I only just recently found out about a bookstore called like Mr. K's or something that you can go, you can like get points, you can get free books, you can trade in books and get points for more books. Which kind of goes back to the whole learning part of it. But uh, other than that, if that's not the Mr. K that you're referring to, I don't think I ever have one of the Mr. K. Although, maybe that was a teacher. I don't know if I ever had any teachers that just went by there. Actually, I did have one teacher. I had one professor in college who was like, you can call me Dr. Z. And I was like, you sound like a supervillain. And I'm okay with that. So, we called him Dr. Z. Did indeed call him Dr. Z. Let's see. So now that I have all these papers together, I can make... I can make chapters. I need more energy to make more chapters. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I gotta craft more things. There we go. Oh, when I'm tired, I lose energy. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Interesting. I didn't know that. You unfortunately can't learn anything in your life. Or I guess everything, I suppose. Like, you can't be a professional and cello at, at cello and piano at the same time. I mean, I suppose you could be proficient. Like, good at them? Professional? I mean, let's see. I would say professional would be like, you're getting paid for it. Like, if you're a professional celloist and a professional pianist, then you're probably getting paid for both. Or maybe you're just really, really good at both. Um, but I would say that, like, that's... I'd say that's a thing. I'd say you could be professional at it. I'd say you wouldn't. Maybe you could even be a master. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe it's incredibly difficult to do so. But if you restrict yourself to just like, for example, those two things, you kind of like close your mind off to all the others. If you're a master, I, I kind of think of it like you can be like a jack of all trades, master of none type person. Um, in which case, like, you know a little bit of everything, but you don't know a lot about any particular thing. And honestly, I would consider myself that type of person. I have yet to specialize, like, specifically. Technically, I have specialized. I have a degree, or a couple degrees. So technically, I've specialized, but really, I don't think I specialize that much. It can go so much deeper. And maybe one day I'll find that little niche that I get, like, really, really attached to. Like, some people find, like, that one instrument that they're, like, super duper good at, and that's what they're going to keep with. Like, some people, it's piano. It's piano all the way. Um, I don't know what my... X all the way is, at least in terms of an engineering standpoint. I don't know what it is yet. Or a programming standpoint. I'll have to figure that out some uh, sometimes. Maybe that'll be a part of the next, another philosophical discussion next time on another exciting episode of Camera with an X. That's Dragon Ball Z. I don't have Super Saiyan abilities or anything like that, but Mr. K... Is Mr. K a store with such a good deal? Indeed. Mr. K is indeed a store. Indeed it is. Oh. Well, I am getting rather tired for the evening, and my character has rested for the evening, and I believe so shall I. Uh, everybody, it's been fun. It's been an absolutely fun and wonderful, wonderful time. I appreciate all of you coming along. It's been great. I'd like to make a special shout out to my new pal and friend, Peter Chris. I have had a wonderful conversation with you today, and I feel like we've covered a lot. I love being able to talk about music stuff. I really like talking about music stuff. I hope, can my, is my audio still on? Is my audio still on? I can't tell if my audio is still on. One second. Hmm. I genuinely can't tell. I hope, I hope the audio is still on. I'm, yeah, perfect. I'm glad. I don't know what happened there. For some reason, OBS is not showing me my microphone, so I can't tell whether there's actually sound coming out of it or not. Oh my god, can I? If I click the button, can I see the button? Eh. Whatever. I'll keep with it. Anyway, anyway, I digress. It's been an absolute joy to everybody. Newcomers, I welcome thee. My hat's off to you. And until next time, it'll probably be on Wednesday, as it usually will be. At least it has been recently, unless something changes. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I'm curious to myself. All is well on that one front. I was seeing if any of my pals were on, but I don't have any pals on right now. So that's where I'm going to end it for this evening. It's been fun. We made some great strides today in the graveyard.
and Spooktober is still upon us. Happy almost Halloween, everybody. Almost there. Eh, we still got a week. We're like a week early. Anyway, whatever. Peace out to everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, if it is daytime where you are. It's an evening for me. It's a nighttime. So in that case, have a wonderful rest of your night. Or dawn. Twilight. I have keywords. Sunrise. Morning. Noon. Afternoon. Midday. Dark twilight. Midnight. If it's midnight, <laughs> good for you. It's time for you to get some sleep too. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you're a night worker. In which case, you are essential. I love y'all. Peace out, everybody. Bye!